What up, what up? It's your boy Shot. Shot vs. Day Bike Podcast. We episode 35. We got a special guest. We got Caprice McKinnon. She's just the uh, what founder or creator or however you want to call Chef it. Chef and owner. Yeah, of a brown butter meal prep, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so how you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. I appreciate you coming. For a minute, I was getting a little scared over here like, damn. Hope she come because a lot of people give me that spin the roof. Oh, no. Nah. The last mm-hmm. two two weeks, I had two people spin me. I'm really? Like, Damn, yeah. No, people, you was on it, though. Yeah, I know. I was going back and forth with you on, the, uh, in, uh, on Instagram and stuff like that, make sure everything was straight. Yeah, you stayed on top of it, though. Yeah, most for the most part, though. I'm, ghost a little bit, like, yeah. you know. I'm starting to notice that more, more females are more dependable than dudes when it comes to coming on the podcast. You just noticed. Yeah, that. just noticed that. Oh, yeah. okay. Because <laughs> <laughs> a dude be like, yeah, I got you. All right, bet. One oh, dude had yeah. me feeling like I was a female. I was blowing his phone up. Like, coming, man. <laughs> I'm texting them. I'm sending question marks like, man, no response. I'm like, damn, they can spam me, man. But um, we always start the show by doing a salute me while I'm here because a lot of times when people pass away, we wait until then to be like, oh, yeah, I love this person or I care about this person instead of saying that while they're still here. But you can't say no kids, no mom, no dad, no brother, no sister. You got to be a friend or a distant relative. So if you're thinking, I got somebody in mind, uh, I'm going to salute my homeboy Cheesy. We, uh, we grew up together a little bit. And we ain't the best of friends, but we always keep in you know, contact with each other. Whenever I got music or he got music or my podcast, he always showing love. He always, you know what I'm saying, telling me that my junk dope, giving me feedback. And you don't really find too many people that support your stuff and, you know what I'm saying, actually give you some feedback on what you're doing. So that's mm-hmm. my salute to my dog, Cheesy the Champ. No social media, no Facebook, no nothing. He just be on YouTube. That's it. So... But that's the best kind of support, though. Yeah, for you sure. Know, the real support. Mm-hmm. That's all I care about. So who you, who you going to uh, give your, uh, your salute to? Mm. I would say... You said no close friends? No, it could be close friends. You just can't be uh, brother, sister, or mom and dad, or kids. Okay. Because those would be the easy ones to hit up. I'll go for my grandmother. Okay. Um, she actually... It's funny you say that. It's kind of like in her transition right now. Like, she's mm-hmm. um, kind of like about to pass. Okay, okay. Damn. So, Sorry, the, yeah, yeah. um, no, she's, um, I appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah. But she is actually ready. She's ready to go. Yeah, so, yeah, I yeah. had my few days of to be selfish mm-hmm. and be like, you know, kind of I didn't want her to leave. I didn't tell her that. I don't yeah. want her to feel that way, you know. But um, she was really the one that, mm, I admired her. Okay. You know, the I definitely had admiration for her. She definitely, um, she's the reason I started cooking. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, um, a lot of times, grandma do be up that boy cooking it up. And <laughs> even though she never remembered anything, I asked her. Like if I asked her for <laughs> a yeah. recipe or something, she never remembered. Yeah, but yeah. it was more so. I like the connection that it made to my family and how it drew people in. And it was like, so it was like, that's what I wanted. I wanted to be that person in the house that everybody came to the house. Oh, yeah. Because grandma always got the house to go to. Yeah. Yeah, 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 And that kind of fun. You know, food bring people together. So it just, you know. Yeah, because my grandma, uh, that's what happened with her. She, when she was uh, on her deathbed, whatever, pretty much, like, she was, she accepted it. Mm -hmm. So everything was all good. So it was like, she got mad at me for crying. Like, nigga, don't you stop, don't you cry. Like, basically, called me out. Like, like, it's all good. And then you write, like, grandmas always be the one who keep the family together as far as, like, mm-hmm. food, cooking. Everybody go to grandma house and, you know what I'm saying, eating, talk stuff and drinking. And, and that's fighting. why I was so afraid to lose her because I felt like the family was going to fall apart. Mm-hmm. You know, I felt like, you and Sometimes know, it do, but you got to be that, like, maybe you be that person that keep everything together. That's you know why I was just like, you know, I went lay with her, red with her, and, you know, she mm-hmm. just, you know, she extra hood. So it's not like, <laughs> you know, you about to lay up and get no sweet, you know, yeah. like, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so I love it. I okay. love it. She real. All the way to the end. That's she 94. Up. Oh, sure. Yeah, that's what's up. And, and a lot of times you'd be like, damn, she lived a good life, but <clears throat> those 94 years, and to her, probably like, damn, that jump went by fast. Yeah, okay. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, it's never enough time on earth. Like, you be like, damn, mm-hmm. I hope I live to see this. Like, it's never enough time. You know what I'm saying? I feel like these few little years I done, done went by. I'm like, oh my God. It oh, went yeah. by so sure. fast. You be like, damn, I was just backing that thing up to juvenile. <laughs> <now." laughs> oh my God. I was <laughs> just saying that. I was just at, what the, is the, it? The, the pirate are, ship yeah. at the state fair. Yeah. <laughs> the, the knees ain't as strong as they used to be. Like, <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> Speaking of throwback stuff, and, and you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, shout out to your grandma again. Uh, but thinking, uh, speaking of throwback stuff, like, tell me about how it was growing up. Like, was it mom, dad, brother, sister? Was you from the east side, west side? Um, I'm actually from Southfield. Mm. But um, 
you know, summers, weekends, and all of that was always, you know, either at my, um, both of my grandparents' house. They lived not too far from each other. So one okay. was on Warren and Van Court. Okay. And then the other one was on uh, Livernois and Barton. Okay. So... Um, Brass hood. Key area, yeah. Yeah, if yeah, you yeah. know what that. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> if you know what that is. Yeah, that's a that's, that's <laughs> so yeah. yeah. So that's definitely um that's my hood right there. So, <laughs> <then> my, <laughs> so but, you, you have brothers and sisters like? Oh. Um, I do. Okay. I have um I have an older sister, mm -hmm. twelve years apart. Wow. So she more yeah. kind of like a yeah a mother yeah mother figure. sister yeah that's how my big brother is we nine years apart like mm -hmm. I look at that nigga like I want to be dead <laughs> and then some of my um I have a a sister we didn't um she around the same age as my oldest sister but mm -hmm. we didn't really have a close relationship you know how it is when the mamas ain't cool yeah yeah for sure you know so yeah. that kind of was <laughs> yeah. that relationship yeah, but yeah. um you know love her from afar mm -hmm. and then my brother you know him and his issues but he was you know with my so my dad died, okay. and um, he's under me, though. Okay. I didn't even meet him until I was 16. Yeah. It was one of those. My cousin was at my <laughs> grandma's house like, hey, this nigga look just like you. Like that. I know. Yeah. <laughs> And wind up being you might want to ask some questions. Yeah, yeah. Especially if you, I can imagine. Like, what, what's your name, girl? Like, nigga. <laughs> it was definitely one of those. Yeah. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel you. I feel you. Um, for sure. So you say, you, say, you know what I'm saying? I, I I could see through you saying your sister and stuff from your dad's side, your mom and dad wasn't together growing up? Um, They were prior, so not when I grew up. So mm -hmm. maybe kind of like when my sister grew up, mm -hmm. I think he was in and out. Okay. And then um, by the time I came around, yeah. you know, it was almost like, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know. and um, But honestly, I was thankful, mm -hmm. you know, for the separation. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> People try to make it last and be well, like, this I was is the worst thing. I'm an 80s baby, so, you yeah. know, he had his shit going on. Yeah. And I kind of was glad, you know, <laughs> that she made <laughs> yeah, for sure. She made that separation yeah. because it was necessary. And honestly, if I had to make that choice, I probably would have did the same yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, because so. you and that boy fighting just to keep the family together. For like, real, they, like. They fight every day, like. No. That messed, that messed you up, like, dang, is this right? Is this normal? Like, <laughs> Like, oh, yeah. I remember I got to a certain age, I told my mom, like, hey, man, it's time for you to leave, dad. Like, yeah. I love both of y'all, but, nigga, this ain't working. Like, this ain't right. Like, Listen, I definitely appreciate, you know, her yeah. making that separation and making yeah. that choice because it's not easy, yeah. you know. And especially back then, people be like, you know, mm -hmm. that's their daddy and that's this and that's that, you know. Yeah. And to make that choice as a mother is not... <laughs> It's yeah. not easy. Yeah, yeah, it's judged yeah. a lot. So you and you and your pops, y'all had y'all had a straight relationship though, all right? No. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we have <laughs> the I only no. <laughs> relationship that we really have is I think I hugged him for the first time maybe like a month or two months ago. Dang. And it was very awkward. Yeah. You know, kinda like, Oh, I think that may have been the first time that's, that happened. That's wild. You know, yeah. so it was like, Okay, I guess. Yeah. I had to listen. I had to get over yeah, the yeah. whole like and once I forgave him for the yeah. the Dang. absence. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um honestly it took me having friends who was I mean I know people don't look at themselves when they be doing drugs or mm -hmm. addicted, mm -hmm. but um having friends who was like neglecting their children and when yeah. I noticed it in women. Yeah. So I know how hard it is for a woman to not yeah. you know, so when I, you know, had not I wouldn't say friends but acquaintances who okay. were neglecting their children because of whatever pills or whatever mm -hmm. lean or whatever they was, you know, into sure. at the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, you know, we not we knew our either, you know, eighties babies, we knew what in our mind, we think in crackhead, you know, we yeah. like, oh, you know, that's not what I am, you yeah, know, like, sure. and yeah. then, or that's not what they are. Yeah. But then when you think about it, when you start neglecting shit, that's a crackhead to me. Yeah. It don't have to be crack. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. <laughs> so yeah. when you start neglecting stuff, I don't care if it's gambling. Yeah. So once oh, I started yeah. seeing... It's different. It's, it's different addictions. Yeah. So when I saw it in female drug. sex, I don't care what it is. Yeah. An addiction is an addiction. So oh, yeah. when I saw it in females, I was like, oh, mm -hmm. this may be... Because yeah. at first I was judging it really harshly. Okay. Oh, nigga, you're supposed to be around no matter what. Yeah, you know, especially sure. when I had kids, I became yeah. extremely defensive about it. Yeah. Like, I would never leave my child. I would never. No, ever. Yeah, you know, right. so then it became, a, I became a little bit, I maybe compassionate, maybe empathetic mm -hmm. when I saw women, yeah. you know, kind of like, <laughs> okay, this I ain't never seen. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. It ain't too, too it, it's rare that you see that, that moms, you know what I'm saying, ain't take mm -hmm. care of the kids. Like, you always see dads, but there's a lot of women out there that ain't. And I you know had that saying? conversation with her, like, hey, sis. Like uh, my my, uh, <laughs> my oldest son, 
uh, mom, like we was in high school, you know what I'm saying? Like, I and people think it's weird because he, he stayed with me mm -hmm. for, for the school year and he'd go with her for the summer. Actually, he'd be back, what, Friday. How but old is he? He, he about, he'd be 14 in December. That's good, especially for that age. Yeah, so my thing is like, we broke up, he was like four and I'm like, best thing probably him to be with me. And he go with her, you know, when we was both staying in Detroit, he'd go with her for the weekend, be with me during the week. And then once we both moved out of town, he was with me, go with her for the weekend, I mean, for the summer. Mm -hmm. And we was good. Like, it was good like that. It was cool. People look like, dang, that's crazy. That's odd. But I'm like, it's a boy. I think he should be raised by me. I agree. Listen, you know my saying? youngest my youngest son, so my oldest son, his um, dad is not really, you know, like, in the picture for real. Mm -hmm. He was when he was younger. Yeah. You know, when they started getting old enough to ask for shit, they started kind of, <laughs> like, did. sliding off, Dips you know. Real quick. <laughs> like, like uh, you know, making other babies that's little. Yeah. They can't ask for shit. Mm -hmm. But then... My youngest son's dad, though, is like the polar opposite. Yeah. So even though we're not together, he yeah. is like, Take a, when I say f look, father figure, 10 times better than either me or him had. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like his relationship with his dad is kind of like, he'd be like, Ma, when you gonna drive me over my daddy yeah, house? Sure. Like, yeah. you know. For real. And yeah, you yeah. know, women used to like judge because he would go over his dad. Well, he worked at a plant, so he would have weekends off. Yeah. And so he would have them on the weekend. Well, he still does. But yeah. he, um, women would, it's so odd how women would judge at, before, yeah. you know, when it was the oldest kid's dad. It's, oh, these niggas ain't, you yeah, know, kind of yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. Nah. And then when I had, you know, Cruz, it's like, oh, you let him have him every weekend? Don't yeah, you think yeah. that's a bit much? And it's yeah, like, what? Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> like, damn, damn. You do know the like, weekend yeah. consists of like two and a half days. Yeah, like, sure. what are yeah, you talking yeah, about yeah, right now? So that's straight. You still got the more pressure. I you still got have five full days, yeah. you know. Five full and days, eating, haircuts, all that. When it came to the pandemic, we did seven days on, seven days off. Yeah. So he has them for seven days, and then I, yeah. you know, he that's took cool. paternity yeah. leave. Yeah. He took, <laughs> when yeah. they was able to leave a plant, so, you know, because he could have went back to work, yeah. but um, he decided to collect unemployment, because yeah. I can't watch him. I work from home, so yeah. I can't oh, yeah, you know, sure. keep him all week, so yeah. the difference is like... Um, Nine days. Yeah. yeah, I've yeah. never even experienced having help. Yeah, 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 yeah. See, I got, because I got, I'm about to have my third one in December. And oh, then I'm congratulations. Done. It's a wrap. Yeah, it's a, it's a wrap. <laughs> I finally get my little girl. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm done. Two boys and a girl, I'm cool. You uh -huh. know what I'm saying? So, me and me and the wife already decided that she going to, you know, get them ties, them tie tubes, some tube ties. <laughs> <laughs> Burn them boys off, because I'm done. Like, <laughs> How old are the first two? Uh, I got 13. Uh, well, basically, he'd he be 14 this year. My, uh, my other son, four. And oh, then, you did like me. Yeah. Started all over again. Yeah, yeah. Because once I had my, you know, my little high school girl, we had our little kid and stuff. I'm like, I ain't gonna have a kid again unless I know like this is a legit relationship. Like, I don't feel like doing nothing like this whole having a crazy baby mom or whatever like that. So you know, we still kicking it. We got a little girl coming, so we done. That's I'm retiring. Up. I'm good. Like, That's if anything happened to me, God forbid, she got two older brothers that can take care of her. You know what I'm saying? Get some so. uncles, some crazy uncles. They got some <laughs> pistols now. <laughs> so we all good. Hey, make sure she had a pistol too. And I, like my other two kids don't have godfathers, but with a girl, I like, I wanted to give her a goddad, so I made my homeboy, which is her cousin, the goddad. Mm -hmm, okay. So I'm like, nigga, if anything happened, like, I'm like, do you want this? Like, I don't want to give it to you. You don't want the robe. Like, yeah, it's yeah, a serious robe. People yeah. just be like, oh, this is my god. No. <laughs> like, godparents, if something happened, it's yours. You don't have right godparents. Here. Like, I don't, I, ain't, I'm on, I don't think they believe in that. I got people that just, that would have looked out something happened to my mom mm -hmm. at an earlier age, you know what I'm saying? But yeah. uh, go back to that before we move on to the business and stuff. And yeah, she brought food and everything. We gonna mm -hmm. smash the nose afterwards. But uh, how was it like go back like high school days? Like what type of kid was you? Student was you? Was you into sports? Was you wild? Was you quiet? Was you like how was you as a a, a teen, a young pup? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was off the chain. <laughs> I was. Well, high I don't school even you go know to how my mama. I went to Lathrop. Okay, okay. So Actually, I went to four high schools because, like I said, I was off the chain. <laughs> oh, yeah. So I had, the first two years was Lathrop. I mostly grew up in Southfield. Well, yeah. no, I grew up in Southfield. And then the first, like, year and a half, you know, um, I think I went to Southfield High for, like, yeah. a semester, was fighting there, went back to Lathrop. <laughs> then <laughs> Fool, yeah. went back, yeah, I was a mess. I was, yeah. So <laughs> then I went to, um, you know, Lawrence Tech. Mm -hmm. for a year yeah. and was able to get some college credits because okay. they were all college classes. Yeah. And then um, I graduated from Farmington High. Okay, okay. You were bouncing around. Was you, was you getting to scraps or just not giving a damn or skipping? Like, when you say you was off the um, chain, what's off the chain? I didn't <laughs> skip much because I yeah. still, like, cared about, like, yeah. you know, my grades. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I had a few, like, AP classes. Yeah. So, and so, then, you okay. know, just regular classes. Yeah. 
and but I still wanted to skip and you know yeah. do shit I had a business doing. So yeah, 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 yeah. I had to balance it out. Yeah, so you was off the off the off the chain, but she ain't really tell you what the, what that chain was. I mean, <laughs> I was well, I drank. Oh, I, wow, I yeah. think first time I maybe had gone to jail. I was about sixteen. <laughs> Um, and it wasn't like I didn't commit the crime. Yeah, that time. So no, no, I'm, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, I didn't commit the crime. But it was more of a, um, you know, messing with a boy, mm-hmm. and he, you know, had a gun in the car. Yeah, and you know how the police back then they used to have a what the the squad used to pull up with mm-hmm. no explanations, yeah, knocking on sure. windows. We, yeah. I think we was going to the butterfly. That's how long yeah. ago it was. Oh, the butterfly. And they, <laughs> Man, that's they bad. knocking on the window like, hey, it's a. They came up with some excuse. Mm-hmm. Somebody was in the neighborhood. They needed us to get out the car. Yeah. Meanwhile, that's when I was going to Lawrence Tech, but I had a law class. Yeah. I'm like, I ain't getting out of shit. Yeah. Yeah. I, this this car is in my name. <laughs> I got rights. Yeah. Are you arresting me because I'm underage? Yeah. Where's the female officer? I was I don't know. Oh, on the head then. Yeah. Yeah. So they find they ended up finding the gun in the glove compartment. Yeah. And <laughs> <laughs> I was running shit off like that's fruit of the poisonous tree. I did not give you uh, cause to uh, yeah. search, search my vehicle. Yeah, for sure. Oh yeah, and they threw it out. You know. Dang. Yeah. There that's was no what, charges. So you said, you said your first drink you were sixteen. Oh, you say high school? Oh no, I said I was drinking at sixteen, but that wasn't when I had my first drink. I don't think. Yeah. I can't remember my first drink. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, cause I like low key. I didn't have my first drink until I was twenty one and a half. Huh? Twenty one and a half. So you wasn't like sneaking drinks, never like, like dad, wine cooler. Oh yeah, like my dad. Let like me, an Arbor, Arbor yeah. Miss day. Yeah, oh, your mother's good too. Like, my dad <laughs> let me uh sip on wine cooler, but like just sit down and have a drink. I was like twenty twenty one and a half. I'm like, dang, I used to go to the club. And then I'll be on you, you know, sober one. All my mm-hmm. homies messed up. Then I had a dream like, dang, I can get, I'm getting all the confidence in the world, talking to all the girls. <laughs> I'm like, I need to do this more often. Like, shit, I feel good. You know what I'm saying? But mm-hmm. yeah, I had my first drink at like late. Cause I remember we used to go to the studio and everybody get drinks, and I'm in that boy with moon mist. Everybody drink Patron, and I'm just sipping on some pop. Like, oh, I wish I had a friend like you. Yeah, I was just, I was, I was at Cool Lane. Okay. I needed one of those. That cool nerd, like, I was in school where everybody knew me. It wasn't hard to get girls and stuff, but I wasn't doing no crazy stuff. The only thing I had cared about, because I had hoop dreams, so the only thing I cared about was basketball and my grades. What school did you go to? That's it. I went to Gross Point North for my first two years. They kicked me out because they found out I moved back to the city, mm. and then I finished off at Southeastern. Oh, okay. And when I went to Southeastern, that's when everything got messed up because I wasn't used to seeing black girls in school. So I had to, the only thing I was worried about was what I had on, and my haircut, with my braids at the time. I would make sure everything was crispy, and then the grades just went from like a three point, two point eight to like a one point, zero point. <laughs> like I wasn't giving a damn. I wasn't giving a fuck. Like my mom found my poor car. Like damn, you, this what you doing now? Like <laughs> I don't know. Like, this how you feel? Yeah. yeah then I tried to go. Door. I tried to go to college. I went to uh, JUCO, junior college, okay. but I couldn't focus. Like I didn't know what the fuck they was talking about. And then I had a baby on the way, so I just completely stopped. Mm. So I'm, I'm yeah, good. Yeah, that'll do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, did you in high school? So you was you was you into any sports? Um, in high school, no. But prior to high school, I play everything. I, th- yeah. I feel like my mama burnt me out. Yeah, she made yeah, me do yeah. every damn thing from cheerleader to soccer to tennis. I don't care what it was. Yeah, she made was, me do it. Yeah, yeah. And um, by the time I got to high school, I was over it. <laughs> I was a good swimmer, but. I wasn't about to mess up my hair, so yeah. that was like not even a. <laughs> See, that wasn't even an option. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I worked in a hair salon. Okay. I had my first job at like fourteen. Yeah. So I worked in a hair salon and. Yeah. Now, go back to Southfield, cause I remember us growing up. We in Detroit. We always thought like Southfield people was kind of like sedity, like bougie and stuck up and rich. Is that true? You say <laughs> rich? <laughs> like we thought Southfield was money. Like we thought you said Southfield, you got a couple dollars. Like for I real. mean, I say Southfield now, but. Prior. It's middle class. Yeah. It's not like oh, saying South, oh I, got, I got this girl number. She's saying Southfield, cause like she she got something going on. Like that's funny you say that because I wouldn't date Southfield guys. Yeah. Like I kind of did, like yeah. just to entertain because I needed something to do while I was at school. Yeah, you know, but like <laughs> real like relationships, like I always would. You had to be across a mile, or I didn't yeah. feel safe. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, it got to protect you. That's why my man had that pistol with the jail protecting. Period. You. Like. like <laughs> No, seriously. Um, <laughs> I needed you to be a little rough around the edges. Yeah. You know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I yeah, so like I wouldn't have no shot back there, boy. I wasn't rough at all. I was that much like, yeah, so uh, you want hold your books? Like, this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that about holding books, book bag, and just walking girls on. I walked the girl a mile. We were like, I'm walking. Like, damn, walking her oh, home. Man, that's far. You know what I'm saying? 
I was at, that was me, too. You know what I'm saying? Because I knew thugs. I knew the, the you know. He said, I knew the thugs. Yeah, I knew. Like, That's I'm all you the, need. See, it's, a, it's like, I, I put life, I compare it to, like, boys in the hood. You, mm-hmm. you can be in the hood, but that don't mean you like no street hood nigga. Like, Cuba Gooden was like, was like me. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't as smooth as a, as a dresser. I wasn't crying, throwing punches, but mm-hmm. I was that dude in the hood who wasn't. And then you got people like Doughboy, like Ice Cube. You got the niggas who the gangsters. You got the niggas who got dreams of being... And professional athletics with uh, the brother. You got the mama who hate one brother more because she don't like his dad. Like I, I compare boys in the hood to real life because you got those situations. Hell yeah, you got those <laughs> situations. That was very like reminiscent of a lot of like people you know, cousins yeah, you got, yeah. shit, your little mm-hmm. brother, whoever. But hell we yeah. definitely all know somebody like, damn, why she doing like that? Yeah. Like- <laughs> Every time, but I can say, oh my dang, if you stay in Southfield, shit, you you living in life. Now, I got there like, damn, all the niggas is migrated since I feel like. Please. <laughs> then when you graduate and realize you ain't got the money your parents got, it's like, what the? I'm going to do yeah, now. For sure. <laughs> Heck yeah. What? So what do? was some shit like, you know, high school, you know saying? What was some things you thought like, oh, I want to be this when I get older or I want to do this? Like, was it always cooking or was it something else? Um, I never honestly even thought about cooking until I became older. Mm-hmm. Till I was in like my mid-20s. Mm-hmm. And then actually late 20s other yeah. people had to tell me your food is good for me to be like really for sure. like it wasn't i was throwing parties and stuff and yeah. using my george foreman girl you know <laughs> when you you, <laughs> you in your 20s in your yeah, apartment yeah. i mean i mean george i had a baby foreman. so you yeah. know i had furniture which i probably wouldn't have had if i didn't have a baby at <laughs> yeah. that age but like you yeah. know like really cooking mm. Mm-mm. and then he hit a certain age and it was just like oh this is not enough yeah. Ramen noodles and this shit. Oh, yeah. He ain't yeah. eating. He needs some that food. Good like, how old was you when you had your uh, your first kid? I was twenty. Twenty. Okay. Yeah. That's. I, I was like nineteen, twenty. When I had mine. So like, it was like, did that kind of like tame your wildness? Like, you know, what I'm saying like, did that might did that settle you down? Like, I got a kid. I got chill. Or were you like, I'm gonna do both? I, I was did both. both. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I was on that balance. Like, I'm a good dad mm-hmm. until twelve o'clock, eleven o'clock come. And I'm like, all right, bet I'm in the streets. Yeah, I made it a point to definitely <laughs> do yeah. both. Yeah. Like, don't nobody want a miserable mama. Yeah. Miserable mama, miserable kid. Yeah, okay. Yeah, for sure. Like, I don't have time. I just you twenty years old with house coat on. Like, like I can't do it. You know. <laughs> then you want to break out and have your whole face when you're thirty five. But I don't got time. Um, <laughs> no. Damn it! I'm like, <laughs> you that much? Like, I I I've been on church mode my whole life. It's okay to have a face, but a oh is yeah. the worst. You know like, <laughs> Yeah, for real. Like don't still know, got her I'm whole bag. Ju- like. Right. Like I'm not judging any, you know, level, yeah, but yeah, yeah, that yeah. would just be the last one I chose yeah. if I had to choose one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh That's funny as hell. But yeah, yeah I had a I I didn't spare no no fun. Yeah, yeah. And <laughs> I <laughs> For real. I mean, I worked hard. He, you know, he went to UAD. Yeah. So he had kind of like the opposite experience you had. You said you was, you know, you were just seeing what? Black girls for the first time? Well, yeah, was I see, the opposite. Yeah, because I, I was seeing them, you know, because I went to Detroit Public School, middle school, but then like eighth, ninth, tenth grade, I went to suburban school. So I'm like, dang, I ain't used to it. And once I got back to it, like, all right, bet. He was the opposite. So we, he went to UAD. Yeah. Um, Jay Zoo. Okay. That's all boys. School, oh, like, yeah. Well, it, when they're young, it's not all boys. It's mixed, but it's mostly boys mm-hmm. because, like you, you know, like you just said, most people think are not even aware that girls can go yeah, know, at yeah. that age. But um, so it wasn't very many girls, but it was a few. Mm-hmm. And they, um, I moved him. We moved to Farmington. Mm-hmm. And no, I'm sorry. Even when we moved to Farmington, when I actually put him in Farmington Public Schools, yeah. is when he was like. <laughs> yeah, these like, white chicks is out of line, out of control. Oh, yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah. he and Avery, like ma. Yeah, they. Yeah. They, you know, so it was between him and his hormones yeah, and yeah. being like afraid that somebody was gonna like shoot up the school or something. Yeah, oh yeah. You sure, know, he yeah, wasn't yeah. used to being in there. You know, with white kids. Yeah, how was him, your son now? He's fifteen. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, you know, he looked at them like they was unstable, you know, because yeah, yeah. all he saw was on TV. Hell yeah, for real. You know, they, if they get mad, they might come so in the bitch like, and shoot So he like, well, what if they get mad and they, he like, I ain't had time. You yeah. know, and it's so messed up that they even have to think about yeah, that. Yeah, for sure, yeah. But, uh, yeah. but yeah. Yeah, I've been having to talk to my son, like, make sure you don't be sending pictures of your piece. I told him that too. <laughs> I'm like, dog. Cause no, because they're about to fight somebody pops. If they see it and they dark phone, because if it's vice versa, and I see my little girl phone, it's damn. 
peace pig. Like, hold on, hold on, hold on. We got some issues now. I got to get the pistol. I'm having to tell them, too. Don't show your friends. Yeah. I can't raise a douchebag. You know, you yeah. like, don't show your friends. <laughs> Just, you know, if you're going to yeah. look at it, look at it. But yeah. don't be sending it to your friends. And mm. shit. You know, she ain't going to never send you another one. For sure. Yeah. You know? hey, look, look at this. Look at these lips. <laughs> right. First of all, it's probably not even her. She probably Googled it. And you showing everybody. Yeah, I'm like, and no. don't show nobody grown, because that's a whole nother crime. Oh, yeah. Like, no, <laughs> just... it's, it's, please don't show me, because then now they can child pornography. Like, that's what I did. Hey, because I'm, like, I'm going through your phone like, what? Oh, God. <laughs> On top of the fact that that phone is in my name, I'm like, you got to be careful with yeah, this. Right. But, <laughs> yeah. Goddamn, I'm about to go to jail for something you ain't even doing. Like, dang, this my goddamn son got me in jail. Like. For real. For real, look at lips. And like, you having to have con- <laughs> right? You have to have conversations. The whole put a sock on the door, son. We got yeah. company out here. Yeah, but no, I I tell my son real talk, like, you know, I'm like, dog, look, you can wait. Like, don't be rushing to this young dog. These little girls out here is, is crazy now. Like, cause I coach basketball, I coach girls, and I coach boys. I'll be hearing the conversations like, oh my god, this is mm-hmm. ridiculous. Like, they out here getting in. You know, back when we was in middle school, high school, you had like maybe one or two freaks. Now it's like. Every girl that mother trying to see what, because I think it's the phones. Like, uh uh-uh. uh. What school you went to? I went to Bustle. Bustle Middle School. Uh uh-uh, We had way more freaks. You said uh-huh. how many? She probably. <laughs> I knew uh, this one chick. I didn't say her name, but she was, she was pregnant. <laughs> I was, was going to say, pregnant. don't you do she it. She the first time I seen a pregnant chick in school in middle school. Yeah, I was going to say, we, mm I count way more than that. I'm trying to think no, back. We, we didn't. We didn't. We didn't have no, nobody was in. Trying to give the, the uh, like my nigga Tommy say the, the draws. Nobody nah, giving I'm no draws. I'm glad right. that they're nothing like. See, they pump faking. You know, they doing what they see on TV. They yeah. on the internet. They playing games. We yeah. was doing real live. You know, we was like, we was yeah. young yeah. in a mess. You so know, so I'm, it was like, I'm hmm. like, you really don't know what you out here doing. Slow it down. Do you even know what she looked like in real? Have you seen her in person? Yeah, you yeah. know, <laughs> that's a new John. Now you know, everybody, you know, those IG, you know, change chicks real quick, whatever, but. Yeah, I made sure I had that, that talk with my son. Like, man, just chill. Mm-hmm. Know what you want in life. Like, it's definitely. Because like, the girl, one thing you got to understand, the girls is going to always be there to the day you die. Okay. If you marry, you single, the girls is going to be in the way. I, and they're going to always be a problem with you. Do like, you and they will come. <laughs> yes. That's something that all the time. Just yeah. do you. Yeah, yeah, for real. Because I'm like, dog, like, when I be hearing the kids on my team to my relationships, like, y'all know y'all stupid right now. Like, y'all ain't about to know these girls or boys, like, after this month, like, y'all about to be broke up. She's going to be talking to Cruz. I mean, you said Cruz. That's why I was in my head. But, yeah, talking to Cruz, Tom, Bentley, like, all that junk, it's man. Funny. But, uh, yeah, I wish the girls was a little loosey-goosey when I was in middle school and high school. I was just, It was a dream. I was like, I can't wait. Can't wait. Oh, yeah. You thought that when Southfield <laughs> girls was bougie, all you need to do is cross eight mile then. For real. I wouldn't be catching the bus. Cause <laughs> but, they uh, might have been bougie. So, you, so you, did you go to college up? You say you was taking college courses when you was in uh, high school. Did you go to college after uh, high school was over? Um, I did. I graduated, I think, in like 2016. Mm, where you go? Um, the Art Institute. Okay, okay. So That's I do. Up. I got a culinary degree. Yeah. And then I do want to go back. Yeah. Get my um, nutritionist to be a nutritionist. Okay. I get my up. bachelor's in nutrition. Mm-hmm. It's only because there's so many like doctors that have that don't know anything about um nutrition. Yeah. And you would think that they did. Yeah. But the correlation between that mental health, physical health mm-hmm. is major. Mm-hmm. So that is, um, even if I was to do consulting or yeah. whatever, I would definitely, you know. Uh, I, oh, yeah, I got one more question before we get to, uh, to your business, though. But music, we talk about music a lot on the show. Mm-hmm. A lot of people think they got to be a rapper to come on the show, which they don't. I try to get any, everybody, whatever. As long as you got something going. But what was some music? You was growing up, or who was some artist you was growing up listening to? Like, this my shit. Like, we was laughing, talking about juvenile and stuff back before the show was I on. would have to say. Oh, Pac? Oh, yeah, you were real one. Tupac. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. that, that's the best. Definitely. That's my favorite rapper ever. Yeah, for sure. Mm-hmm. I would have to say, Keep Your Head Up is one of my favorites. I love Tupac. Yeah, yeah. I love that. him. He kept it real. Yeah. Who, who, who are some uh, other mm-hmm. people you listen to? Um, Listen to? Now, yeah. first of all, nowadays, we can't even... It's going to, it's high school days. Do nowadays. Yeah, back then. But, oh yeah, for sure. I was an original hot girl. Yeah. Not these new ones. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay, I was a, <laughs> uh, what was it, 504 boys? We was, oh yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> we were just talking, we were just watching the whole Master P little, little uh, doc. Yeah. I'm from the T's, Bows, and Reeves generation. <laughs> yep, yep. So, uh. Them Jabos are the best jeans ever. Them boys was good in the winter time. Yes, mm-hmm. definitely. So that that was me right YTR, there. White all that stuff. Mhm. That's funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So is he so Tupac your favorite ever? Um 
if I was to say I had a favorite, um, it would be between um, him and, and Nas, I would say. Oh, yeah, we the same. Yeah, we on the same tip. What about singing? Who, who, you know, R. Kelly, you know, he in jail now and everything, but he was that dude back then. You know what I'm saying? Who was, who was that Who was that go-to singer? Was it <laughs> was it some new, like, as far as, like, who was it? Oh, you had R. Kelly, you had Case, you had motherfucking Carl Thomas, like. Everybody, which I was just calling Carl Lewis for, like, <laughs> all the way up until, like, last week. Somebody was like, girl, is you talking about Carl Thomas? I'm Carl like, Thomas is that his name? Thank God for Google. We was talking about that shit. Uh, we was at the bar the other day. We was talking about Carl Thomas. How he had that toxic ass song. Like, I wish uh, yeah. I never met her. Yeah. And he was like, fuck that. What about me? Fuck the kids. <laughs> fuck your husband. But what about me? Like, <laughs> he said that shit. Like, nah. damn. She trying to make it last. Uh, hold on. A lot of stuff was toxic. Donnell Jones talking about where I want to be. Yeah. Come your ass from. I, I'm not about to be outside no window. Yeah. Man, yeah, that was some good. That was like some Boy, good little songs bad. though. Hmm? Gene Wine, like I remember, I played that. I used to play that. John, like you know, you call your little girl. You got Gene Wine playing in the background. We had so much my good whole, music. Like, my whole life has changed. Right, <laughs> like, line his boy, ass up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Usher boy. of all people talking about let it burn. Yeah. Now we oh, know yeah. what you're talking about. Oh hell no! Yeah, but I um, a, we definitely. I, we had some good music. Mm-hmm. We had some good music. So I had it's a lot to choose from. That's when you get your nighttime phone call on. Got the music in the background. Yeah, and then my sister got volume on dim like. Okay. <laughs> Hoping your mama don't pick up the phone cussing you out. I'm trying to get off the phone. Like, damn. All right, I got to call you back. Especially, I, be, I used to hold the line up because we ain't had no three-way. <laughs> my mom be trying to call me for two hours. I'm on the phone. Like, no, I used to hate when somebody from Detroit would call and they would be like, on, uh, when they would be on three-way, they three-way would sound like somebody was, like the whole house was shutting down. <laughs> like, no, yeah. like uh, yeah, your line's clicking. <laughs> yeah, you be that much. No, when you on three-way, like, hey, dog, I got this little chick nigga like put me on three-way dog let me hear what y'all talking about uh, nigga, see? Listen to all that's, like, that's like sending a picture yeah yep yep that was <laughs> that was that's a comparison because you be on the phone like damn like this nigga talking good mm-hmm. like, <laughs> that's funny taking tips yeah yeah that's funny that was. but that's all right you know you on you on the show because you know your business and stuff brown butter meal mm-hmm. prep what how did you first how did you start and where did the name come from when it did you used, start? It used to be um, in 2012, back when like people like first start selling dinners. Yeah. And then um, I was selling dinners, and then I went to culinary school, mm-hmm. and I stopped mm-hmm. because I, don't know, I just wanted more training. It was a few restaurants that I wanted, you know, to work in. A few different, you know, I made it a habit to like research what restaurants I wanted to work in. Yeah. And then. Um, the, it used to be elegant edibles, but okay. everybody kept asking me, "Was I putting weed in my food?" Yeah, and I'm like, almost, no, yeah, yeah. like what? That's a high class. Edibles, right? <laughs> so I did used to, and then too, that never fit me because mm-hmm. I'm not no. I mean, I guess no offense to myself, I'm not elegant. <laughs> I mean, I I can be, <laughs> but so, no disrespect, but disrespect. <laughs> you know, just keeping it real. I'm not the most, you know. Yeah. Um, but. Brown butter just fit me more because mm-hmm. it's kind of like, you know, yeah, you call, you're, you're, like you're, a dirty joke. Oh, I was say that's your MySpace page name, like mm-hmm. brown butter. See, chicken. that's what I'm saying. Like it's like a dirty joke. <laughs> yeah, like, brown butter. Like. I love the good. That's what he said. And brown butter was kind of like yeah. that for me. Kind of like it. the kitchen is like that too. Like yeah. anything can be turned into you talking about food can be turned <laughs> yeah. sexual. So oh, yeah, for sure. I kind of needed the name to do that yeah. as well. Like, yeah, I'm, now I'm trying to think about things in the in the, in the, in the kitchen that could yeah. be like, like what about the flip? <laughs> about the hamburger flip your ass. Scramble that motherfucker. <laughs> or you got your sauce on my station. Yeah. Or you know. <laughs> No, oh, oh shit! I'm about to scramble that way. You throwing meat everywhere. <laughs> yeah. You know. <laughs> Did you wash your meat? You know. This meat is warm. Uh, it's, it's quite a few. <laughs> quite a few. Yeah, that's funny, bro. That's, damn, that's funny. Yeah, I never thought about that. Because the whole time you talk, I'm thinking about crazy shit in the kitchen. You used to be thinking like, damn. Yeah. That's funny. It's very hell. inappropriate place. I would, I, would, I, would, I would hope that growing up, my mom and dad didn't get down in the kitchen while we was eating that food. Like, You know what I'm saying? Listen, cooking can bring people together. Y'all just don't know. Y'all need to, y'all need to try it. Yeah, I'm about to play with pancakes <laughs> and bear. Like, she got syrup all over the place, too. I know we had sir yeah. yesterday, ma. Let me eat this French toast we had. So. <laughs> <laughs> Niggas fooling. Though. Okay, so uh, with the uh, with the business and stuff, like, when did you start seeing like you know, people really people really mess with you and supporting the business and, and not just eating the food because they may know you, but eating it and coming back because it's some good junk. 
Um, you said when did I notice that? Okay. Yeah, like people really fuck with me. Like they ain't really. A lot of times people mess with you just because they know you. Like, mm -hmm. alright, I'm gonna get this plate, throw in the garbage. Like, you know what I'm saying? But like, when did people yeah. like really start like giving you props? Like, you know, you really throw down. Like, you good at this? Um, before I think before I started catering, but when I actually started like the compliment for some reason, the compliments like still kind of surprise me a bit you still be like no nah, yeah. it's not you know because when you yeah. are creating something you always are there you critique it for sure yeah. you know you so you you're always like nitpicking it where other people are like you know this is awesome mm -hmm. and you like you never really believe it mm -hmm. but um certain things like when i start coming up with like signature dishes so that's mm -hmm. when i start noticing like certain things and certain um certain meals that I would serve, people would be like, this, I'm on it, like, yeah. this is awesome. And yeah. then that's what made me start the sauce in the rub line. Yeah. And then, um, that too. Yeah. People are like, you know, in other states, like, can I buy some? Can you ship me some? I might have to get some, is, 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 is some seasoning? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what it's on the salmon sliders. Okay, but I might have to get some seasoning, because, you know, I'm, I got some seasoning the other day, it was called Slap Your Mama. Was, mm -hmm. <laughs> I just wanted to try because of the name. Like, that's, damn. um, is it yellow and yeah, green? Yeah, 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 yeah. that is pretty good. Yeah, so I just wanted to try it. That shit was straight. It was shot. My son mm -hmm. was like, that shit good on the noodles. What is it, like a jerk seasoning? What is it? I don't remember I think it is something like that, it. but it's like, it's spicy as hell. Mm -hmm. Or whatever. I think it is something like that, but don't give me the line. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so you got the season stuff like so people been like they they you send that stuff off like you sell it from the crib like you got a location. Well, when <laughs> I first uh just started doing it, it started it pick it picked up way faster than I expected it to. Mm -hmm. So at first I had like little small promotional bottles that I was you know using for um cocktails because I have like small vending coolers mm -hmm. in um <clears throat> in salon. Okay. So I was using them for drinks and cocktails. Yeah. And then I'm like, well, let me, you know, I still have some bottles left over. I'm like, let me try this out. Mm. And then um, they just start like flying, oh, like going. Yeah. And people were, um, you know, contacting me. Like, not just my friends, because I have a large family. But yeah. then I started noticing that people were, and when they start coming back, like, mm. oh, I want. You know, like another bottle yeah, or yeah. another. That's when I was like, oh, oh it's, okay. Yeah, I can get some money out of this. That's, what, that's what's up. Like, yeah. me go ahead and make this motherfucker a little bigger. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it, I, I use those dishes that people, everybody would always say something about. Yeah. You know, people used to always ask me about, do you have a signature dish? And I used to be like, what? I can cook anything. What are you talking about? For sure. You know, I never looked at it like one thing that I, but if I was to be known for anything, it would be salmon sliders and that, so everything that I used that mm -hmm. like, yeah. you know, sauce or rub on. Yeah. You know. Now we was talking about, uh, you were talking about how like the kitchen could be sexual, but uh, <laughs> mm -hmm. what, 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 you know, you, uh, first date, you tell Craig to come over and stuff. Mm -hmm. You like Craig. You really love Craig. Like, but what what would be that <laughs> that go to meal that you know Craig gonna stay? What's that go to meal you gonna cook, Craig? <laughs> <laughs> I can't even focus because you said Craig. What the um, <laughs> a like go to meal. A go to meal, like you know, say I give him this meal. Yeah, he gonna stay. I would say if I <laughs> if I had to choose, it would definitely either be salmon, the okay. salmon, or it would be um, a steak. A steak. Okay, cool. Now but you, then I would have to teach him how to eat steak. Yeah. Okay. What do you mean teach him how to eat? We steak? know, so everybody don't know how to eat steak. How how, how do you eat steak? This like, whole well done thing yeah. that we have yeah. in our community, and yeah. I love us to death. But medium well is okay, guys, yeah. and. <laughs> Even medium is okay. Yeah, like, even between medium so you, and medium I remember, well is uh, okay. We was out to eat one time, and she, my wife had got some stuff, and it was like, as soon as she put the fork in that mud, the state was like red, like blood. I'm like, uh. Now, I do have a friend that, that like it, like rare. You know, yeah, it's like yeah. bleeding. And I'm like, I don't need it to move. Yeah. But I would, you know, prefer I don't it to be. Bleeding. Yeah. I don't want it to. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Wait. wait. Let me take that back. See? Oh, yeah. See how that is? <laughs> I'll make sure I put that on the, on the IG clip, like. Right? <laughs> and that's why you got to let your meat rest. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you got to put some downtime. Well, what, what my girl be saying, she be telling my son, like, uh, wind down. Like, wind that meat down. For sure. You got to <laughs> let your meat rest. <laughs> Don't say I never told you nothing. Okay, so steak and the sliders would be Craig go-to, like, come on, Craig. Eat, oh, yeah, for sure. This. Honestly, I ain't going to say y'all eat anything, but... <laughs> Um, See, almost. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. And one thing I can't have is a guy that's a picky eater. 
Oh, you, you be mad. Now, my son is a picky eater because his dad is a picky eater, but. I am too. Like. I like. It, it depends on how picky you are. Like, I can be. No white know, sauce but, for me. You know, I'm weird about white sauce yeah. too. So no I can ranch, eat it, no but America I'm weird oil, about it. No, uh, no mayonnaise, no sour cream. The only white sauce I will eat is uh, Alfredo sauce. I knew he was going to say yeah. it. Don't, it's, <laughs> it's not the taste that bothers me, it's the visual for me. So, yeah. like. Like when you bite in, like, damn, why is white shit around your mouth? See, that's see, it the right there. Shit, yeah, the like, white around <laughs> the mouth. Like, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> the water around yeah, your lip yeah, is not sure. sexy. I don't like it. At I just all. yeah, I don't it's like not it. Cute. I'm good. I, 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 if I, I throw the sandwich out the window, like God damn it, it got mad. No, seriously, in the immediately be like, oh my god. Yeah, cause like and then like niggas don't know how to put enough. They be, they be it's like, can I get some meat? I mean, with the mayonnaise, like it be so much mayonnaise on a sandwich, like. Yeah, we're definitely there. Just put my stuff on the side so I can control yeah, how yeah. much, you know. Yeah, Subway, yeah. just put my shit on the side because <laughs> they be doing too much. <laughs> so you say with the corona stuff, it kind of like set you back as far as like your, your business or whatever? Um, I wouldn't say set me back, but I would say it, it caused me to do like a redirection. Okay. So that is what made me. So the sauce and the rub has kind of like been in the back of my mind yeah. for over a year. Yeah. And then... Once this came around, I became like slightly paranoid. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to. Oh, one, sure. I didn't want to cause anybody else to get sick. But then two, you the excessive going in and out of places, going for to sure. see people, going in and out of the store, and then coming back home to my kids. Yeah, it just was, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know. So you took a little time off for me. Yeah, and then that's when I started the sauce and the rub. Yeah, like all right, got to and still that, the money. Yeah, yeah, that was the, a lot easier. Even if you know, I started with drop offs. Mm -hmm. I'm about to, you know, do sh my first ship order. Uh, next week, okay. well, this week I should say Sunday. So, and then, but the yeah, yeah. I was I was the Corona kind of definitely. Yeah, we had been talking. Me I supposed Ben got you on show, but it's like that Corona hit. I'm like, I don't think niggas gonna want to come through. Let me stay my ass at the crib for yeah, a little listen, bit. Yeah, just in case I have my mask in my back pocket, oh, yeah, like oh, sure. or my purse. <laughs> oh yeah, know yeah, we pretty clean. Cool we ain't going crazy over here. But uh, you you say that 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 so you do like meal preps, you can do event. Cooking like do you do like catering like or just oh, like yeah I do private catering so mm. I've done like you know a date night for a couple mm. um I do um event catering mm. so I wouldn't say small but what I consider small would be mm. you know no more than a hundred people okay okay so you say date night so if I be like you know let me throw something special for the for the missus you'll be able to come over here and whip up your little stuff and stuff like. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what's Only up. thing I ask is that the kitchen is clean when I get here, and I'll leave it clean. It'll be clean when I leave. Hmm, I have an idea for next year. <laughs> so it's yeah. it's you know it's good in home. You ain't got to worry about especially stuff like Valentine's Day and stuff like. It's so hard to find reservations and to get into places. Yeah, I never thought about that day. Yeah, we gonna, we gonna keep in touch. <laughs> it's a lot for real. It's a lot easier and cheaper to yeah. you know just be at home decorate girls like stuff like that anyway. Yeah. Hey, yeah, I get my little my little keep sweat real quick. Yeah, you know it's a lot. <laughs> we like, oh, oh, this nigga trying to do some fancy job. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's a lot more thoughtful. So. Yeah, yeah. And then knowing we can't have no kids afterwards, like it'll be all good. Okay. <laughs> no, I don't know. You know For what real. But uh, yeah. Uh, I think know my arm short. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, go ahead, go ahead. They pass me. So I know if you want one of these uh <laughs> these little weedables that's passing around, I'm good on that mm -hmm. one. <laughs> Y'all don't want red lipstick on y'all. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, I did that before I came in to spare y'all. Oh, yeah, like, you know what? I'm so thoughtful. Did you hear that? Oh, that's what's up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but that, so, so you said the biggest uh, event you had was 100? No. Okay. That's just what I prefer to do by myself. Mm -hmm. If I was to do, like, over 100 people, I just would, you know, like, um, I would employ somebody to okay. come in. Okay. To you know help me, but as of now, I would prefer during this time mm. to not do more than you know. So are, are you able right now? So. Are you able to function as this being your main source of income through the business, or are, are you still working a nine to five? So I just started back working, mm -hmm. um, maybe five, six months ago. Okay. So the more actually, the more productive I became, the more mm -hmm. successful it became. Is I needed more stability because I needed sure. to put more money into marketing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I needed yeah. to put more money into different things and then there were certain things that I didn't have time to do. Mm. Not you know, so um or the knowledge. Yeah. You know, so I had to, you know, pay people to do certain things and that money comes from other places. Yeah. You know, has to come from somewhere else because yeah. and at the time 
I was living off of the money I was making, and that's never yeah, it's hard, yeah, yeah, yeah good because yeah, it's yeah. like Cause business like, money is business money, yeah, yeah. and you know you find yourself like Dang, I ain't got nothing to show yeah, for, it, and that's really what it be, and yeah. I'm not yeah, I don't do the nothing for show, sure, <laughs> so I um I decided to go back to work, so I quit my job to focus more. Mm -hmm. On my business, and then yeah. I was like, okay, well, let me go back to work now. Yeah. So you able to like, is is, is it a balance? Like, are you able like, are you overdoing yourself, or are you able like to still have your me time and still work and do your business? Cause a lot of times we we go work nine to five, and then you know what I'm saying, we be chilling. Like you 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 start lacking on your business and stuff. Yeah, you do for sure. I did that the first. Um, I just started like the past maybe like month and a half, two months, mm -hmm. really putting the time that was needed into it because yeah. the job that I have I'm a scheduler for um, like home care and hospice okay. and we're, we are working from home but it's stressful because we talk about nurses people especially when it came to COVID yeah. all them COVID cases start coming in yeah, yeah, yeah. it was like you know oh, yeah. so completely you, really yeah. you know overwhelming so yeah. on top of the fact that it's stressful like you could do something wrong somebody could die yeah, you know like sure. so yeah. <laughs> you know yeah. it's the training was ex was intensive mm -hmm. and so I kind of had to like keep reminding myself okay you're not slacking. Yeah. You're just redistributing <laughs> the time. Yeah, you know, because yeah, you tend sure. to be yeah. hard on yourself. Like, yeah. I'm not doing my business. I'm not doing Because to me, jobs are side hustles. Yeah, if it you should know, be. It should be. Hustles yeah. to me are jobs. Like, that's your job. Your yeah, job, your is, job to, is whatever you love. To put into what you love, into yeah. what you care about. For sure. You know, that's a, no, that's a side hustle for me. I'm not working to make nobody else rich. Yeah, because you use that money to put into your shit, so eventually you ain't got to... Yeah, so whoever run this company can go have a vacation. No, fuck that. Yeah, you know, yeah. I'll do it <laughs> for yeah, a no, couple for real, years, real. but it's it's only for so long. Yeah. You know, I'm not... Yeah, I think that should be the ultimate goal. And I think in this day and age, like, it, 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 a lot of people is trying to figure out ways to make money on their own without having to put that work in, that time in. You working for this, for this company for so long, you retire. By the time you retire, yeah. like, let's be for real, you got about a good... 15 years to yourself, like, shit. Please believe when the you work. die, yeah. they're going to roll somebody right in there behind you. For sure. Like, yeah, so, like, I think we need more of that that that, that business. And we got to <coughs> support each other and stuff like mm -hmm. that, too. Like, my, my girl said some shit, like, a lot of times we'd be too afraid to spend that money with our people, but we'd spend that bullshit on some other mm -hmm. stuff. Like, we went to buy some popcorn. We spent about $25 on some popcorn, but it's for her, her, her girl mm -hmm. business. We... We barely ate the popcorn because we ain't no popcorn eaters, but she just opened up when she wanted to support it. And that's some shit. Sometimes I, may, I, I, I ain't going to sit here and act like I, I support everybody and stuff, but I need to start doing that more. Supporting our people and stuff like that because then you're going to want that same support for your shit. And then be mad when nobody ain't fucking with you because you ain't fucking with nobody. I stopped getting my nails done at the, no offense, you know, like that. Wing wing? Yeah. Ling, ling. I, <laughs> I stopped going to, you know, the places that were, you know, predominantly Asian yeah. because it was just like... You know, it's so many black girls that can do nails. Yeah, so it was just yeah, like, yeah. and yeah, we slow. But and guess he, what? We come yeah. with conversation. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, yeah, I just right. had to redistribute, you know, find somebody that was the least slow. Yeah. I mean, you know, yeah, like, yeah. and I made it work. I made it happen. And, you know, so. What, so uh, with cooking, we can stay on cooking and stuff. Do you you feel like the new generation of women fuck, fuck like, they don't give a fuck about cooking? Like, like, because that should be some shit. Like, like you said, you was in the kitchen watching your grandma and stuff like that. You know, women, that was like, they shit, like, they love being in the kitchen, love cooking, love love knowing how to cook, but nowadays, a lot of women that you meet, they love just going to restaurants and buying fast food all the time and not spending that time in the kitchen, learning how to cook, fucking up to get better at cooking, like, do you think that's like a generational thing as far as like the new generation ain't fucking with the cooking like the old school used to do? Well, one, we don't have the time. Yeah. We have jobs. And... So, you know, we, we don't have the, you know, the time to just be, you know, perfecting a recipe over, you know, because you, you got all day to cook and clean. <laughs> but, um. So my mom used to, you know, she used to get down. Yeah, Working I would hard, say. hard, come on, get down with the cooking. Yeah, I would say it's. And, and, cooking could be a, 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 a make or break in a relationship. Yeah, but man, for sure. You know what I'm saying? For me too. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, yeah. So you want Craig to know how to cook a little bit? Um, Craig not, got me a no, no, like I said, bit. if you're not open-minded. <laughs> yeah. If you're not an open-minded person and we can't go to, like, you know, different restaurants yeah. and you won't try things and yeah. you won't... Even if you don't try it, I don't need the negativity, yeah. the locking. 
<laughs> don't. My yeah. experience, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, as long as, you know, you open-minded, I'm good, but... but... Don't you think, like, cook, cooking, like, for female, don't you think, I'm like, it's, to it's pressure on a woman? Like, to know how to cook, like, shit, I gotta cook, gotta keep this nigga around. <laughs> I don't want this nigga getting fat McDonald's. Like you just said McDonald's was trash. Honestly, you don't need food to keep a you don't need food to keep a guy. Yeah. Like that's kinda that's an illusion. That I don't think I don't you know. need food to keep a guy. <laughs> I don't think you need food to it keep a guy. It depends on who Otherwise you. females <laughs> will cook. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you like we would do what was necessary. Like with me and my we could split it. Like I cook sometimes, you cook sometimes, because I know we got schedules, but you gotta be you gotta go to the kitchen a little bit. You know. We can, we can, I hear you like, saying right now, that. Like right now I'm letting her I'm giving her a pass because she like but her being pregnant, every little smell season, damn, what's my Every little smell season, it kind of making her like sick or whatever. Like, oh yeah, it's real weird, especially when you yeah. Pregnant. So she like she want that shit to be. She want to be cooked. Like she don't want to smell no no season no nothing. I'm like damn. So I'm I would still mug. say it's fifty fifty, and the only reason I say that with the generations is because women now nah, there's so much access to the internet. Oh, and yeah, go on YouTube, women are into right? their health. Yeah. You know, so I don't think we're cooking the same way and the same things. Mm -hmm. But I do think we're you know. I do think we're still, you know, there's still women that, that cook. I yeah. don't have any friends that don't cook. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I'm trying, to, I'm trying to think of, yeah, I don't, I don't have any friends that don't cook. And if they can't, <laughs> they might make up in other areas. Oh, yeah. I don't know. Like, but, because, you know, they still got a man, you know. <laughs> you say, like, the kids might go ham on the meat, like, I can't yeah, I was going to say, maybe they're better with meat yeah. in other areas. I don't know. <laughs> But you know, there you go. So I can prep that meat. There you go. <laughs> Handle and prep. It's not all about the cook. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, this is crazy, man. So I mean, uh, tell me, uh, what's the first thing? What's the first meal or first thing you cooked that, like, oh, I, like that, the first thing you did that was good, like, or the first meal you ever cooked? You, do you remember? Because I remember my first meal I cooked was like probably some pork and beans and hot dogs. You know what I'm saying, like. Um, I do actually, which is weird. I was older. I think I was like 16, 15 mm -hmm. or 16. And uh, my mama went out of town. Mm -hmm. And for some reason, me and my cousin wanted like green beans, macaroni and cheese. Oh, for some shit. reason, we wanted like a real meal. Yeah. And we made it. Yeah. And I don't know how the hell we made it because I think it was like the first time I had ever. No, it was the first Mac time I ever cooked anything. Too. Yeah. And, uh, I'm not sure, of, honestly, even how good it was. Yeah. But I think we were just proud that yeah, you got it done. <laughs> that we accomplished it. Yeah. But I was good at the um, kid kid. I was a Miracle Whip sandwicher. <laughs> Maybe that's why I don't like yeah, white, white stuff. Shit, nah. Nah. Yeah. <laughs> See, kid kid, I was making bologna sandwiches, ramen. Ooh, yes. Oh, fried bologna sandwich. Yeah. Maybe. Let me go back. You got to cut them four slices. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah. Get fried bologna sandwich might have been the first. Hell yeah. That's, I need to think about my, I think, that. Oh, the first thing I made that was good was eggs. Scrambled them eggs well done, put the little cheese in it. Yep. I remember my homeboy was talking shit like, nigga, I don't want these eggs. And they like, make, make some more eggs, cuz. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. I was I, like, I made the stuff that, you know, you can survive with me. Mm -hmm. You see, know what I'm saying? You can survive. Survival, yeah, right? you can You're survive. Surviving. I, you know what I'm saying? I made, I made some good spaghetti, but I don't make the homemade sauce and nothing like that, but, you know. Do you do like every black household and make us eat it for a week or no? Oh, hell yeah. Okay. We just my day yesterday. Just wondering. I'm taking it to lunch every day. Now, my, my, my wife don't eat leftovers, so I'll be like, bet, more for me. I love Food leftovers. tastes better than this So day. much better. It's like marinating. Yeah, I love it. it's like marinating the juices, oh, getting all. Especially like, <laughs> uh, see, see what I <laughs> Who like it the next day? I know y'all like it the next day. See? It's like, oh yeah, because you know, you get that morning. That morning? Like, I knew it wasn't just me. No. In the morning. It's marinating. It's nice. It's yes. ready. Hot and ready. Little seasoning. Like. <laughs> a little seasoning on it. A bit of bacon a little bit. Mm-hmm. What do you mean? How you warm it up? I put it in the microwave. Do you put a paper towel, a wet paper towel over it, or do you not? And let wet. it, like, spray Sometimes all over the microwave. Bacon in the pot. Um, that's the best way. That's the best. It's always best to warm stuff up in the oven or on top of the stove. Yeah, no radiation is always the best. Yeah, it takes about 10, 10 times to warm that bitch up. Yeah. It's hot everywhere. Stick your finger in it, the middle be cold. Like, God damn it. <laughs> 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 and that's like when you be having, uh, what's the food, uh, like, um, um, damn. It's like spaghetti, but lasagna. <laughs> it's like spaghetti, <laughs> spaghetti but different noodles. It be warm, but then the middle be like, damn. Yes. Or like, we warm up chili, like. You take that first bowl, like, oh, shit, hot, and it's still cold. 
Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, that's funny you say like that y'all marinate, like marinate real quick. Yeah. You're like, yeah. yeah, everybody like that little marination. Mm-hmm. Let it sit. <laughs> Let it sit. So um white food versus black food. Like, have you ever like had like um been to a, a white person crib and ate the food and really experienced that it was like different from black people? Or like you think that's just some some saying? Cause one thing I do, um, it's funny to me like on Thanksgiving, white people be saying they make mashed potatoes for Thanksgiving. Like, damn, that's some like some regular shit. Like, they ain't no, they ain't no Thanksgiving dish. For that's, real. that's that's special yeah. occasion. That's every day shit. Yeah. That's, so um, you think it's really like white versus black? Like we just like make our shit way better because like we always you know saying throw that extra season on stuff. Was American white. Mm. So people who identify with oh I'm American white you yeah. know like the to Trump me that white. might be like bland. Yeah, that's a but Trump, you that talking Trump about shit. like somebody that got like Italian descent <laughs> or like you know Greek descent or something great, like yeah. that them type you know I will depending on like I said if you open minded what type of food you eat mm-hmm. that I will eat and it's always yeah. pretty good it might be different from like you know what we're used to eating. Yeah. But like so in Southfield I grew up my neighbors was. On this side, they were Jewish, and mm-hmm. on this side, they was Chaldean. When Chaldean was a thing, you know, yeah. nowadays people just don't say it no more. <laughs> Do I know where Chaldea is? No, I don't. But they was Chaldean when I was young, and yeah. <laughs> you know, so we always, you know, ate different things. So, but yeah, yeah. they tend to. I be watching on the show sometimes, like, now nah, he know that's not enough salt. <laughs> yeah, for real. <laughs> the white people just be making that chicken wings. They put pepper and salt. Like, damn. About to nah, up chicken. No, not <laughs> enough salt. We be that boy super seasoned. Like, we, we, yeah. we get motherfucking. <laughs> and some stuff is mental for us, you know, like yeah. washing chicken or like overcooking stuff. Oh, that's we another just thing. need to know. Like, washing your food before you cook. Come on now. Like, you gotta wash the food. Like, my, my uh, mother in law, like, she be that boy. She washed the food. Like, she washed that boy. Make sure it's good. Like, some people soak stuff in vinegar. I mean, like, yeah. And all of that stuff be like traditions that we learn, of course, from like, you know, slavery that was passed on that we really don't need to do anymore. Yeah. But, you know, it was yeah. passed on, so we still do it. But, yeah, ain't nothing your kitchen sink can wash off that the fire in the oven can't <laughs> burn off. <Yeah. laughs> Just logically. Yeah, for sure. That. No, for sure. Yeah. So, with the business, what's some, um, <clears throat> what's, what's a short term and a long term goal as far as like your business? Like, what do you want to see? Like, of course, you want to, you know what I'm saying, be able to make this your full time money maker and not have to work but what's like some short term and long term goals um if you thought about my it. short term would be to eventually have the sauce and the rubs in the um you know in grocery stores mm-hmm. um and then you know to create an entire line so i want vinaigrettes mm-hmm. and sauces and so the next is gonna be um what is it a crab oil packet mm-hmm. yeah. just add it to the butter and good to go mm-hmm. And then um, I would say long-term goal would to be, honestly, instead of the factories, like mm-hmm. with cars, yeah. I would love it to be mass production of, like, um, like food, real food, like yeah. um, farming and mm-hmm. irrigation. Like, just like we do weed, we can grow food, Yeah, for you sure. know, hydroponics, we can grow food just like that as well. Yeah. So I think if you teach black people, we need to be more independent Mm -hmm. i'm a segregation believer Mm -hmm. only because i feel like we were more independent then Mm -hmm. and we you know relied on ourselves i'm not one of those i don't ask people i'm only gonna ask you once and i don't like how we keep asking people to treat us right you know like that's a problem for me so i feel like a lot of things just need to be more independent and and including like schooling food and all of that so mm-hmm. if we could get our food on the same level because they're trying to kill us yeah. you know and like we don't realize oh, yeah, it. My, my uh my stepbrother was saying that shit like if you look at the stores compared to like the hood and like the suburban areas it's like night and day it's not even legal first of all to have a liquor store in every corner yeah. outside <laughs> of the city yeah like if you go strip clubs you don't see them in the you know like certain things you just don't see in certain yeah. areas because they fight against it they you know they so, like, liquor stores in every corner or you go into the grocery store and there's no fresh vegetables. That's insane. Yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Corn and, yeah. you know, p- potatoes. Like, like oh, what the yeah. hell is it? <laughs> you know, so definitely no fresh herbs. No. Yeah. So I definitely want to see more, you know, black grocery stores and oh, yeah. fresh ingredients and us buying, you know, filled with all black um, stuff, you yeah, know, stuff it. like that yeah. for sure. Yeah, it's like Master P was talking about that stuff. Like, we've been supporting Uncle Ben Rice and, and Angie Mama and they be created by white people. But he put some stuff out. Like, I want to hate on him. Like he got the noodles and stuff. Like, like damn, y'all trying to find some 
it's high sodium, like all this shit. Like, but nigga, it's the same shit the news got, but y'all ain't saying shit. Y'all eating that shit every day, but y'all try to talk about my shit because it got Master P on there. Exactly. <laughs> First of all, I love me some rap snacks. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of them boosty ones. Them boosty ones good there. Like. And every time I see them, I be like, y'all still hanging in there, huh? Hell yeah, they be like out rap for a snacks. They even got Cardi B. That's new stuff. Hell yeah, shit, I got them noodles too. Them was the same. Now, I haven't had the noodles. I had the little noodles. But you're right. Like, we definitely need to, like, support each other, and yeah. we need to, like, you know, it's like what you gonna only let white people kill you? Like, yeah. what, the, what what does that mean? Like, I don't understand that. For sure. Yeah. But you know, we don't have enough patience with each other. Mm -hmm. You know, has McDonald's ice cream machine ever worked? For the first time, we was able to get a frat pay. <laughs> See what I'm saying? But like that shit never. But the minute broke. you go to a black person and they don't answer their phone when you want them oh, to, yeah, or something simple, you know, like yeah. we're still just like you know we're we're still learning, mm -hmm. and I just think we need to be a little bit more patient with each other. For sure. you got and to. even if you have a problem with one black person, tell them. Yeah. They, telling, I mean, yeah, posting it up. on social media is yeah. not going to help them in their business. Yeah. It's going to bring it down. For so sure. it's just like you know, yeah. let's help each other out. Okay, stay on the cooking thing. What's your favorite? Thanksgiving dish and your least favorite Thanksgiving dish. I start. My favorite dish is is uh is uh dressing with a whole bunch of cranberry sauce. That's like the best thing ever. I can eat that shit all day. My least favorite is yams and don't make no fucking uh potato salad. <laughs> <laughs> that shit trash. Like. <laughs> I'm gonna yeah. have to agree with you on the potato salad. Yeah. But um, I would have to say. I'm a green. I like vegetables. I would have to go with green bean. No, collard greens. I'm gonna go oh, with yeah, collard greens. Yeah. Gotta be collard too. Yeah, I'm not a turn up. <laughs> Don't switch it up on me. I want collards. Yeah. And um, least favorite. Like I, I, I would have to go with potato salad. Yeah, I'm like, not man, a. I'm bringing that shit here. Like my auntie got them um, fucking Cheryl. I used to bake. Ugh, that's why I don't like that shit now. Fucking. Potato salad. Get the yeah. shot. Yeah. White ass potato salad. Now, there is a warm potato salad that's good. Have you ever had a warm potato salad? No. Oh, my God. Delicious. You eat bacon? Yeah. Oh Hell yeah. Look Hell up yeah. some German potato salad. Shy yeah. is the best potato salad you ever had in your life. <laughs> <It's> hey, <laughs> now, now, what you like. What. Uh, oh, shit. I oh, got a little test message. All right, bet. Um, <laughs> <laughs> now, with cooking, like, say you got, you know, our homeboy, his, his uh, podcast partner, Monk Money. What up, Monk? He a good cook. Like, <laughs> What if you was in a relationship with somebody who was like, like up there with you as far as cooking? Like y'all, mm -hmm. would it be like a fight over the kitchen? Like, oh, you got Monday, I got Tuesday. Like, or you'd be like, shit, if you want to cook, cook. I was gonna say it probably would be a relief. Yeah, God, I need to be cooking. But... Some shit. Like, yeah, my producer screaming, boy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it would definitely be uh, a relief for sure. Yeah, yeah. See, I, and then people see people clown me because you were saying like. You don't like a dude who's not open minded with food. I, I think I'm that I'm, I'm that guy. I like the same shit I eat on the daily. <laughs> I think I'm that guy. <laughs> when I come to work, niggas be knowing what I got for lunch. It's either pizza, spaghetti, uh, chili when it's cold. It'd be the same shit like jambalaya. I get a Zetaron though. I don't know how I make that homemade shit. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But it'd be like the same shit for the most part chicken wings. Like, that's when sometimes you get, you ever like be at the crib like, man, I'm tired of eating food. That's the same shit. I mean, the same shit. I ain't get nothing different. Like, I mean, the same stuff for real. And then when you had an opportunity, yeah, you, you look like, at everything and then you like, still shit, order the same thing. Yeah, this, you shit look, to... this shit look a little crazy. Like, oh, let me get that motherfucker <laughs> number three. Nigga. Every time, like, I'm so bad with the pizza. Them niggas be knowing what you I want already. Like, because you want the uh, motherfucking bacon, ham, banana peppers. Yeah. All right. 15 minutes. All right, bet. Now, I'm like, go certain places. I order certain things from certain places. So I go to certain places for corned beef. I yeah. go to certain places for. Oh, shit. Huh, I seen something on your page. I might, I might have to try that from you. That corned beef and cabbage. Oh, yeah. That's the boy. Corned beef yeah. and cabbage with some motherfucking uh, uh, cornbread. Damn. Yes. Oh, my God. You want to talk about good. Yeah, corn. My mom used to make that cabbage, boy. You be yes. farting your ass off. And then, right? <laughs> I thought it was just me. And then. <laughs> <laughs> and then the corned beef hash the next day. Oh yeah, mm. corned beef hash. Remember they had the corned beef hash in a can. <laughs> oh my! I, I always wonder what the fuck that was. It should be in the cabinet. Nobody never opened it. Like I used that. to think I didn't like it until I had like real, Cor like actual fresh corned beef hash. Yeah, that can corned beef hash. You can say that, Joe, for real. All right, now we, you know, we, 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 we uh, talk about the business, but now we always talk about you know some off the wall stuff. Not off the wall, but just some stuff that's going on. Like, I, I what you feel about the uh, the WAP? Like how everybody just making a big deal about this video. The what? The wet ass pussy song. The wet. Oh. Like, 
<laughs> so everybody make a big deal about this about this song. That's that wop boy. Oh wop! Oh, <laughs> that's like, that's like, wop. Like, she wapping that wet ass pussy. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> what you feel about like people like dogging it? Cause to me. I'm tripping because it's been way worse songs than that. They petty. They bored. They like, Corona or something. I don't know. The, they yeah, bored. It's like, it's like, this is WAP not. WAP is old as the pen curls in the video. They <laughs> on some bullshit. Because they like, this is not something that our young women should be watching. Like, but, huh? but nowadays though, but you can pick what you want to watch. First of all, I listen to Little Kim. Yeah. How Kim is, do it to, yeah, are you crazy? Yeah, I, I had to post like, that in my wall. Like, sure. I was getting off to that. Listen, these <laughs> wow, okay. I was wiping all right. Listen, okay, the girl <laughs> was too. Shit, we all love little Kim. <laughs> the show. Yes, we all had our experience with that poster. Yeah, but um, <laughs> it just was like I don't. It's very odd to me that everybody is now all of a sudden like approved about things, yeah. and you know, of course, always a double standard. Yeah. Guys can rap about whatever they want. We rap about something, and it's like, oh my god, I'm not gonna let my daughter. Your daughter ain't got no fucking money. We don't want her to listen anyway. Yeah, yeah but and then, it's like it's like with nowadays with the way YouTube and TV, like if you don't want to see it, you got the option not to watch it. That's why I'm so confused as like, to why they're even speaking on. Like, the only reason like, I had watched the video because we was talking about it on his show, so I'm like, let me see what the video about. I'm, I ain't seen videos in forever, so I'm like, I didn't even know they still married. Yeah, you know? like you got on YouTube, you got such videos. <laughs> I'm like, like, wait a minute, this is still a thing. Niggas still do videos. Like I remember one sister part. Like you used to be waiting for the motherfucking number one song. Like damn, this nigga Bow Wow went number one for 15 weeks. Like okay, <laughs> I'm so sick of that damn top. What is it? The top five? What was it? The top ten? Yeah, yeah. You had that. You had motherfucking see the world. But no, the I'm, basement. Just, I'm not. I, see the, Oh my god, I forgot about her. Yeah, the cartoon like ghetto chick. robot, right? Yeah, she was a cartoon. I liked chick. her. They probably wanted to smash the cartoon. <laughs> <scene, right? laughs> Damn, see the little straight. Like. See the was the shit. But I'm just yeah, Man, I'm not tripping. understanding the the whole judgment with the WAP. Like I mean, I ain't that what people rap about? Like I mean, what? I mean, that's money, cool, drugs, yeah. sex. Like and they like What's like my homeboy. I, my homeboy cool. You know, say he's super, super, super pro black. But he was like, we need Malcolm Messer in our life and stuff like that. And sometimes people could be too woke. Like, nigga, I need you to sleep a little bit. Like, seriously, niggas be extra woke. Like, damn, close your eyes, cause like the <laughs> motherfuckers, <Take him> <laughs> like, niggas trying to close. That nigga crying, bitch, open so up. Yeah, but like, take like out. it's cool to be pro black. <laughs> it's cool to be for the black people. But sometimes niggas be like, dog, like looking for, looking for that shit and everything. Like, dog, like you not, you gonna have some ratchet moments. Like niggas gonna watch motherfucking love and hip hop. Like. But, Everybody's and still, not trying to be an example yeah, to like, your the, kids. Like, like, yeah, yeah. Everybody's just trying to. And then you know what do you expect from Cray being mad? You expect some old Black Lives Matter song? Like it's not happening. Like my thing is, even if they did, like, why do we have to? Why do everybody have to be in a box? Yeah. Like, oh, so if they, you know, they can't rap about like more than one thing because yeah, they, yeah. like, I, I mean, I guess I'm just not getting it. But to me. I mean, what has pussy been around a long <laughs> ass time? Yeah, you hope it. Yeah, hopefully, <laughs> been running the world a long time, and I'm just so confused. Dot, nigga, I'm gonna get dressed. I'm gonna get that, nigga. Listen. You don't want that, you can. <laughs> but yeah, like people so made right. a big deal. Like for every every day, niggas posting about that shit. I'm like, dog, shut up. I bet I seen a dude posting about it either, because nigga, you a fat. I've seen quite a few guys posting <laughs> about it, <laughs> actually, and it's just like. I fuck with this. <laughs> what do you want? I, I'm confused. So what do you hey, want? Low key, low key. Uh, Meg went went hard on that motherfucker, dog. She was rapping hard. Boy. Meg went hard as hell, yeah, and she... I fuck with Meg because in the she gave instruction. <laughs> Cardi was just kind of like, okay, what to do with the dick when you yeah. get it? Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. Then Meg was kind of like, uh, right, well, yeah. you don't have to. Yeah. You know, you can kind of tease the dick and get yeah. what you want. Tease that meat. You know, get what you need first. You know, it was a little bit more yeah. instruction. Yeah, 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 for, for sure. Her, so. I get it. I and with then at the end of the day, like, that junk is power. It's power. Okay. It's power in there. Like, I'm going to explain to my daughter, like, don't relinqu- relinquish your power. Ever. This is, I'm going to explain. This is gold. Like, do you want that motherfucker a hundred million dollar motherfucking Let's, wop? Or you want that motherfucking uh, Y'all two rap cent about wop, money like. and dr- things that make y'all feel powerful. We rap. About the same yeah. things, but you know. I do say like it should, it could be more female rappers that 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 that, that talk about other things because at the end of the day they gonna always put them in the box with Nicki and and Kim and stuff like that. Exactly, nobody's listening to them. There yeah. is, but it could be a lot of guys that rap about other shit oh, yeah, too. Sure. But they yeah. always go back to you know. Yeah, yeah, and they, you you got, drugs and lean. Yeah, you got those moments that you listen to like 
like when you working out, you listen to certain music. When you're doing this, you listen to Cole, J. Cole, and Kendrick, and then you might listen to motherfucking Money Bag, yo. You know what I'm saying? You got moments where, or when the, when is the appropriate time to listen to this appreciate music? Appreciate stuff for what it is, yeah. the moment that it's in. And like I, like I was trying to tell him, is that you got the option to control. You, nigga, if you want to watch Malcolm X, you can put on some old Malcolm X interviews okay. <laughs> on YouTube. Like, you can watch whatever. Educate what the yourself. Fuck you want. People yeah. be so concerned with what somebody else doing, what they're not, not doing. And that's the thing, because I don't give a fuck what you, what you got going on. Like, shit, what you do is what you do. I don't mm -hmm. give a fuck. Like, as long as my household, as long as I'm straight, like, I know what the fuck I need to feed my mind with. Okay. Like, Way I, too much judgment going on. Yeah, like, I don't give a damn. Like, niggas be quick to shoot shit down on social media. Like, and speaking of, with the phone shit, like, I was uh, at my homeboy crib yesterday, and he had a game night. Mm -hmm. But I'm peeping during the game night that everybody on the phone. I'm like, God damn, nigga, put the phone down. We can't even have a good game night without y'all niggas on, on the phone. I'm looking like I should take a picture of this shit. It was like a line. Like, nigga, everybody on their phone. I'm like, dog, you can't even have a good time. Like, next time you go on a date, just know it's in the restaurant. How I many was niggas? just about to say yeah. that, too. The whole dating scene is almost like... I might as well go home and be on my own damn phone. You know, like you wait. Hey, can I get the motherfucking number three? Uh, let me get that with extra cheese, whatever. Then that's thing you know when you wait for your food, you like it's yeah, going through the phone. Social media is a turn off for me. Yeah. For like, a guy. So, oh, so if he on it too much? Um. Because we, I mean, we all guilty, but it's like I, I feel like it's a, it's a, it's a time and a place. Like if you out hanging, like we kicking it at my crib. I'm not about to be on my phone. Like we kicking it, we chilling, we talking. We have it's a time, a good time and a place. Yeah. If you have something to promote, yeah. you have a business or you you know you're doing something and you're promoting that. Even yeah. if you got a word to promote, yeah. I can I can see that. But I just want oh, you to have God. way you know. Yeah. I don't want you to have that much time on your hands. Yeah, like. And then <laughs> I just don't. And then yeah. I first of all I'm interesting. <laughs> so if you like, to me, you Debbie. know like <laughs> you on your phone and yeah. I got to go I got yeah, yeah I and me I'm just a talking ass nigga cause my homeboy at the job like dog you got you in relationship like what do y'all talk about every day like I'm like nigga I'm a, I'm a silly nigga like so it could be some childish shit I might talk to you about I get everybody nerves I get my kids nerves shit I'm a, I'm a big ass kid sometimes like yes. just talk dog like that phone be fucking conversations up. Like, I don't think people know how to approach women no more. They don't. They yeah. don't know how to My game always been have a good though. conversation. My game like, always been whack. I got the wackest game, but it worked. I, I had uh, whack game. Whack game is the best, just like popsicles. Yeah. <laughs> what is it? The popsicle stick jokes? Those are the funniest, oh, you know? Yeah. Like, <laughs> I mean, like, I, I just say some weak shit. Like, why you call me? Nigga, I ain't got your number. So if you have my number, you'll call me. See? I get to that bam, got her. It'll work every time. <laughs> Make her laugh. Heck yeah, for sure, for sure. And y'all talk about guys. Hmm. Girls are a lot easier to get if you feed them. I'm gonna just say that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Feed them. Feed them. <laughs> you feed them. <laughs> See? <laughs> I walked into that one. Feed them meats or meats. <laughs> Arby's, we got the meats. Yeah. Yeah, you can't feed you? Mm hmm. Oh, what you cooking? I ain't cooking. <laughs> <laughs> For real. Nigga be feeding every day. Like, damn. Nigga, I fed too much. I fed the whole block. Like, Feed too many, you feed That's the homeless. Exactly. I think you feed homeless niggas. Feed like, the homeless. <laughs> oh, yeah, That's their problem now. <laughs> Feeding everybody. Oh, shit. All right, we got this one shit. Top three. I give you a, a category. Give me your top three. Now, this is new. I never did this. Top three dudes you, you would love to cook for. Do they have to be guys? I mean, it could be anybody. <laughs> <laughs> when you said top three, I'm gonna just say, do they have to be guys? No, it'd be okay, good. It'd okay. be like, you, you love Michelle Obama, shit. You want to cover her? Michelle Obama. Top three. I um, I'm gonna go with, <laughs> I would say, Rihanna. Okay. For sure. Yeah, she, she could take all three spots. Yeah, I love but, Rihanna, yeah. I mean, cook, cook. I shouldn't have said Rihanna first, not gonna focus. Okay, <laughs> you said guys. Um, you, mean, like you, said, you said whatever, your three. You said Rihanna. Rihanna. Mm. Um, I can't even. Ugh, I can't even think. Type three people to cook for. They would probably be chefs. Okay. So like, um, chef. Uh, what's my man name? The white dude. I would do Marcus Samuelson. Okay, I got. He's a up. chef, and then I would do um, a fucks with Bobby Flay. Okay. All right. Cool. Cool. Give me your top three childhood crush. Tupac. Okay. And um Kane from Minutes of Society. <laughs> Hell yeah, that nigga, nigga died ugly. <laughs> he though, ruined man. my life. Yeah, that's my nigga died. He doesn't exist in real life. Yeah, nigga. But 
That nigga was, yeah, that's it. I remember that nigga was in uh, belly and shit. The white, that nigga was in belly. Remember? Oh, yeah, with a <coughs> flip and a banana. <laughs> yeah. So he said belly. I mean, I said belly. Time said, to drop a dime on me. <laughs> you said Kane, motherfucking Pac, who your third? Mm. Childhood crush. Big Daddy Kane. Um, yeah. oh my god, no. Hello, cool J. <laughs> Not at all. Uh, maybe I would say uh, Halle Berry if I was to do all th- those, would be those. Okay, okay. Uh, top three drinks we've been drinking with seven. Ace of Spades, mm-hmm. a Pinot Noir. Who? A uh, wine. Oh, you said okay, you're okay. Pinot Noir. Okay, yeah. I, uh, that's a red. All right, bet. And um, red do have liquor or just yeah, alcohol? Whatever. Okay, drink. Okay, yeah. um, red Fago. <laughs> red, I hate red Fago. It's just strong as hell. You drink that money, about to die. Like, God <laughs> damn! It gets oh, my you nose hair. Okay, yeah, like, you about to get some hair on your chest real quick. Like, damn, cuz. If I'm if if I'm not that strong, I'll do peach. Yeah. Peach, <laughs> the peach don't hit you that strong, but the red for sure. Top top three uh, top three food. Um, I would have to say pizza from Italy though. Okay. Fancy. And then. <laughs> Um, pizza. Uh, I don't know how yeah. I Italian like pizza. Uh. <laughs> well, Definitely the thin crust pizza from Italy. I would say um, lobster mm. or any seafood mm. from Jamaica. J- seafood from Jamaica. Okay, bad. And I would say. Mm, Spaghetti and garlic bread yeah, with yeah, fried yeah. chicken. Yeah, for sure, you got that fried chicken in your life, show for real. Last one, <laughs> top three, uh, movie, movies. <clears throat> um, your go-to. Craig came over. <laughs> <laughs> top three movies. I would definitely have to say, um. Not coming to, well, yeah, coming to America yeah, is that's one classic, classic. Um, and what's the other one, Mr. Clark? Mr. Clark, they be no oh, kill, uh, right? Damn, my man, you a crackhead boy, yeah. What's that? Uh, you gonna kill yourself? Damn, what's Do it expeditiously, cook? lean on me, yeah, yeah, lean, lean on, on me. me. That nigga, more friend was old, then, and then <laughs> he was right, <laughs> and then yeah. um, New Jack City, yeah, yeah, that's what that's a that's a good list because niggas be making some whack lists lately. I'll be like, <clears throat> My voice going away down. What the fuck going on? Yeah, New Jack City. <coughs> Excuse me. New Jack City changed my life. I said New Jack Liddy. Same yeah. movie. But New Jack City, that changed my life. So, I love that movie. you know, I'm a good I'm a good podcast host. You know what I'm saying? It's probably the best podcast you'll ever be on. And ever, uh, absolutely. You know so, mm-hmm. so um, I, 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 you know, you said, you said Rihanna. You said Halle Berry. You know what I'm saying? What you about to ask me? Do I like girl? I mean. <laughs> 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 no, you know me. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. So, like, is that something yeah, like. You look like like two way two way player like it's like um or was it like a a, a, a phase? <laughs> oh no! That... <laughs> <laughs> so that's like that's like a, you know because you know and, and, and we ain't we don't judge you know this is a judgment free um, zone. <laughs> no, I um I do. Okay. I definitely I don't want to say go both mm-hmm. ways. I don't mix. Okay. So I don't like. Oh, I got a date with a guy today and a girl. Yeah. And that, you know, yeah, I do yeah. like one or the other. Mm-hmm. But um, yeah. So I, did, sure. I, I, I always I, have had a most. I mean, mm-hmm. yeah. 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 So have, have you had, like, had an actual like relationship or just like a, a thing? Um. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm. Uh, I have a girlfriend right now. Mm. And okay. um, let's see. Prior to that, mm-hmm. I dated women like. Maybe in my mid twenties. Okay. So I think from like twenty, maybe four to like twenty eight, twenty nine, something like that. Yeah. Now let me ask you this, like, cause a lot of niggas, me, niggas be like, yeah, dog, threesome, threesome, this, that, and the third. Like, if me and my woman, I wouldn't do it with my with the person I'm in a relationship with. As far as like having another woman come into the relationship, because like, what, like, what if I'm at work? You know, say I'm, I had a hard day at work. I come in like shit. They they start liking each other a little too much. Like damn, they left. They leave me out the situation. Like <laughs> I think that 
I think that can only work with a dude if it's like there's two girls he cool with, kicking it with. I don't think niggas be talking that shit, but a nigga ego is easily broken. So if his girl like get, showing that other girl a little bit too much attention, like, all right, I shouldn't have did this. I shouldn't have opened this motherfucking book up. I don't think Close girls, it. when they have threesomes, they have the, you know, the same thought. Like, a mm. lot of times girls do threesomes because the guy wants it, not because they want it. Yeah. And then it becomes a now I'm jealous. Now it's like, damn, bitch, I wouldn't have never did it, bitch, yeah. if you were yeah. You now, know. <laughs> now, it's like, with, with that going on, like, you, you know what I'm saying, having, having a girlfriend, whatever, like, do you, uh, do you kind of, like, shy away from it by having, like, a son, two sons? Do you, like, like, I don't want it out there, or, like, you worry about what they see or what, what they think or something like that? Because... You know, I asked that because I, I ain't seen it. Like, dudes, you know what I'm saying? Like, the shot, for instance. That's, that's a show. It's not real. But, you know, he got two moms and shit. They married and stuff. Like, I always wonder, like, how do a kid feel? And, like, do a mother ever think about that shit? That, that, like, if he's embarrassed about um, it? Or... For sure. That's why you see so many old stuff. Should they wait till they have all their kids? <laughs> yeah, wait till they turn 21. And they're like, all right, y'all in college. Now yeah, I'm living yeah, my life. Yeah. <laughs> like, mom, the khakis and the, you know, the jabos. Let me yeah, know. Yeah, I'm telling you. Know, the loafers you would never take off. But. I think we're in Timberlands in the summer. Like, yeah, I knew something was going on. Definitely. Yeah. But uh, I honestly, I'm more though, I've always been a no explanation kind of person. Yeah, like I'm Kind of like yeah. things are mm-hmm. what they are. For now, sure. if my kids have a question or something like that, I'm very mm-hmm. open. You know, we always, you know, yeah. talk. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm actually more cognizant of what type of men. Yeah. I had around him. I was very weird. Like, yeah. I wouldn't let certain guys in. I wouldn't let, you mm-hmm. know, like, m- listen, most of them didn't even see the house. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. But, you know, um, I thought about it, uh, especially when he was younger and I, you know, the first time around when I first, like, took it seriously. Mm-hmm. I had a crazy bitch the first time, so it, like, it, de- it deterred me. You know, like, we shot. I can't, mm Because I can imagine two women. Shit. Yeah, it's, it's nuts. And then, like, I had the experience where, you know, I made more money than the girl. Yeah. So it was more like, God damn, bitch, what did you complain about? You don't pay no bills. What the fuck do you want? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Kind of thing. And then it was like, um, you, you just got to find out, like, yeah. what you like. I also noticed that with guys I wanted them to be a little bit more understanding than they yeah. could be yeah, 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 and I'm yeah. like well maybe I need a bit you know I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like maybe I could mash the two yeah yeah, yeah for sure get <laughs> and, that, get that good. Uh, but as far as the kids I my youngest son his dad is very involved in his life I'm more concerned with him thinking he's supposed to have two hoes yeah. okay <laughs> than anything because yeah. he's very like that one is managed the oldest is more um compassionate and understanding of mm. things and mm. you know he's like my mom's my mom you yeah, know yeah, kind sure. of thing yeah, 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 <laughs> she yeah. do her that's what's up that's what's up because like know. yeah because i don't i don't know i don't know how as long as it's a loving situation yeah you know because i'll be i just be like nigga don't make no jokes because like nigga you got two months like nigga you know what i'm saying you know how kids can be kids is the fucking most cruel niggas in the world they they make you feel like nigga you gotta beat everybody ass if they say anything crazy oh, like okay, you gotta teach the kids how to play the dozens, nah. Yeah, oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah. Two moms, mom. where's your mom? Yeah, yeah. motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> what, I remember, I, see, I'm so bad with it. My kids on the basketball team, like, they were trying to talk stuff about me because, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, you know, I know how your parents look, right? Like, nigga, you know, like, okay. I see your mom, nigga, your dad every day, nigga. Right, yes. Calm down, cause I go in. I had your little ass going home crying, nigga. Like, your mom and dad come over here fighting my head. For like, real. don't roast me if you don't want me to talk about your mom. I can't talk about y'all. Y'all some little motherfuckers. Like, <laughs> but it's like, it's gonna be. <laughs> All right, nigga, okay. I'll say your mama and the boy. Your mama and the boy. Your mama and the boy struggling like a mud, dog. Like, he said, he's talking about you ugly. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, be, I'll be giving niggas that warrant. Like, nigga, I will, nigga, your mom, nigga, I seen your mom, cuz. Like, For real. And your kids laugh, like, hey, man, you know, you know, I say your mom, right? Like, Coach, you boy head. I saw your mom. Your mom ain't got that much hair either, nigga. Like, okay, <laughs> let him know. I like, <laughs> roast the kid quick. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, I mean, I, I was cognizant of it for sure. Yeah. I was more worried about it the first time around than I am now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, not sure why, but I was. Okay. And I think when it comes to, like, confusing kids, like, mm-hmm. so when you got the girls that look like guys, you can't oh, tell, yeah. and sometimes yeah. they... You know, have yeah. to think, well, you know, they want to be guys or think they guys. I don't know what it is. Yeah. You know, everybody has their own thing. But I found I prefer, you know, women who embrace their womanhood. And, mm-hmm. you know, they do them. Yeah, now, I'm sure. not going full girl because, like, I ain't opening no doors. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so yeah. one of us got to do it. Yeah, yeah. yeah <laughs> and, I don't, I don't open. 
I ain't opening no yeah, door. Yeah, yeah. Alright, do y'all open doors? I do it just sometimes, like. What the fuck? What? Sometimes, I ain't gonna lie. See, me, I'm the nigga, I'm that, I'm, I ain't gonna say dude. I say I'm gonna stop slowing down saying nigga so much, but I'm that dude, like, you gotta kind of, if I'm fucking up, tell me. I, that's one thing I hate with a female, like, if you were a okay. female, let me know when I'm fucking up. Don't as long wait, as you don't, open to tell. Yeah, don't let Some that guys shit, aren't. Don't let that shit build up. Like, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? You just throwing all that shit at me. Like, God damn, cuz. That was like, that was a couple months ago. Like, <laughs> let me know that shit at me. thought I was a good person. Yeah. You got a list? Yeah, like, damn. Like, what the fuck going on, man? But yeah, let me know. Shit, if it's something like shit, you know, let me know. That's that's how relationships work. You got to have that open communication. For sure. And yeah. you got to understand what type of person yeah. you with. I don't like to open doors. And don't park me far from the door <laughs> I ain't gonna just drop parking. me off if you <laughs> feel like you know like if you keep driving <laughs> and you realize there ain't no parking spots but it's like one that's real far I'm not the girl that's gonna walk with you son I'm not drop me off <laughs> I'm not walking that far right, right in the front Asp- where, my, where, where my mask especially if it's cold <laughs> or if I got on heels yeah. please yeah, like come funny. on now Damn, go ahead that's crazy as hell yeah. We had a good, nice little moment. I had to take advantage of the moment. I'm like, oh, Hadbury. She said, we're in three times. Wait, Not one, three. I knew it was coming. Three times. Like, but. I, it will only be right, you know what I'm saying? Definitely. I knew it was coming. Yeah, but yeah. Because yeah. with this podcast, you know, we don't. But I've never mixed. Yeah, okay. So I guess as far as like. No, no dark and white. Threesome. Yeah. No, I. Didn't do that. Yeah. <laughs> What'd you say, dark and white? I'm, oh, no, I'm, I'm just saying, like, I'm talking liquor. I'm gonna mix like, You never mix oh, like, yeah, yeah. You know? <laughs> I just heard that joke late. I got it late. I'm yeah, sorry, yeah, but like, yeah. What's your cut? But hit, hit me right on camera, like, damn, because we went viral. Like, no. That, that, that would be a viral moment. I just got smacked on camera, like, damn. Well, I ain't do Not at all, no. <laughs> but... smack me. I said, somebody Rihanna got smacked. Like, <laughs> I'm not a mixer. Rihanna, oh, I remember one video. God damn. She had a motherfucking breast out, nigga. Like, Rihanna, See, that's what I'm saying, but. I'm not. Me and two, he was with my my uh, my mother-in-law and my my wife and Joe. He like, I'm looking like nigga. <laughs> you see Brianna cuz like damn. Like I'm the girl that like if I do that a guy like I'm not gonna be mad about you looking Man. because I'm looking. First of all, I can't see you if my head turned. Yeah, I mean one time I'm like depending on which way. If you over here, I damn sure I mean, can't see you. One time, Walmart looking. No, like no, you see grandma had ass. Like no, girl, she about sixty. Like what the fuck? Can I you mean? imagine the grandma's in like ten years? Yeah, oh, oh, yeah. gonna be stupid. Oh, yeah, it's gonna be ridiculous. Mm-hmm. That's why when you go to Walmart though, you gotta have blinders. Walmart be like, God damn, cuz what the fuck? Like, yeah, Walmart is full <laughs> of ass. ass. Like, damn. Full of ass. See, she's Target oh, got the yeah, like, yeah. I was just about to say that the ones you can see through, like, oh, God shit, damn. You motherfucker, you you like you, you rub That's why you end up spending see, so much money. You no, end up longer than you need see, to. You be. gotta have a secret when you know one about to walk past you looking that direction already, like hard. The ass coming. <laughs> hey, yo, shit. <laughs> now that's me. If you turn your neck, okay, I'll get okay. I let you do the first, it. the first round. <laughs> one, don't let her see you, yeah. or not. Be, we gotta fight because you yeah. shouldn't let her see you. Don't let her see like, you looking, you know and don't look multiple times. You, now you getting into the because when, when you with your girl, that's like whenever you see a nigga, a strong guy, nigga, you be thinking of something. I gotta go to the gym. I know this motherfucker looking like a motherfucker, <laughs> <laughs> motherfucker running with motherfucking chest all. <laughs> nigga running like not chest. This nigga strong. Like damn, I gotta get to the gym. Nigga doing push ups for two nights and then just stop. Like fuck. I'm good. But yeah, one look or a couple looks. First of all, if you not yeah. looking, I'm starting to feel like what you 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 don't like girls no more. Man. You know, like I'm listen. Some things are human. I mean, I was in a relationship. Oh my god, looking doesn't bother this me. This nigga know what it is too. Like we go, I don't even pay attention to the chick, and that shit just be like, nigga, you you looking at her? Like no, you you looking at her? You know she bad as fuck. So now you now you think I'm looking at her. And a lot of women can't admit to themselves that they're really? attracted to not and attracted to, but can appreciate that another woman is beautiful. Yeah. There's a difference between. I mean, in the day, it's always go. Yeah. That's why when niggas be like. When you with a woman, dog, or a dude, it's always gonna be somebody that look better than the person you with. You ain't. You, it's never gonna be somebody a top. Uh, d- d- oh, this is it. It's gonna be somebody that's gonna be better. Mm-hmm. Than you. Just like, like, don't have ugly friends. I like cute friends. So when you chose, <laughs> listen. When you picked me, you had a lot to choose from. <laughs> You know, like, you wasn't picking, oh, you the cutest out of the dog pound. Like, no. Like, <laughs> you chose me out of uh, some stallions, nah. <laughs> For sure. So, uh, you know, I asked you earlier, I don't know if you got one, but, you know saying? You said you, you might have got too fucked up to even remember the story. Because we usually end off on a drunk moment or a hot moment. You got one, like, you got one if you don't. Shit, we know, you know, shit, it must have been too bad that you ain't remember. Hey. <laughs> or no comment, like... Um. <laughs> Drunk. I've I've had uh, quite a few. I've had moments where people told me what happened the next day. What? All right. I want to hear that story. What's one that like, you like? Damn, I did that. Um, 
I've I'm had fucking... people, you know, you end up talking to people that you really don't like. I hate when I do that. I get like extra friendly <laughs> and start talking to people that I don't like and I don't want to talk to. And I be yeah. like, damn it, I ain't mean to do that. And then when they see you the next time, they expect you to talk. Yeah, it's like, bitch, I don't like you. Hey, you know, I, I'm you too know, sober now. Hey, you know, you know what? Yeah, drunk when I was that was right drunk up, me. Like, so funny, I'm a happy it? drunk. So you know, I get the hug, hugging and loving everybody. <laughs> or I'm, you know, back in the I be on on the bar somewhere. On the, like standing on the bar table. Back I don't when? actually remember that. Somebody, oh. to, somebody told me that. Oh dang! Yeah, yeah, you get a little yeah. Yeah, they told me that. Um, <laughs> I've had, <laughs> I've had quite. Hey, a hey give her a drink. Drink on me. Drink on me. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> I've had some where, please, the police pulled me. I left. We had a champagne fight. The police pulled me over. He, like, I tore my car up. Oh, my God. That was the best story ever. So, look. I tore my car up. It flipped. It was a rollover accident. Kids, don't drive. (laughs) Drink and drive. Okay. (laughs) Um, But I was, like, I jumped in somebody's car because I didn't have no license. Yeah. So, I got my money out the car. This at the accident? Oh yeah. Okay. I wasn't about to go to jail and yeah. was hurt. Like I ain't got time. So <laughs> I ran off. But of course I was in the suburbs. Yeah. Fucking annoyed. White people like to call the police. Yeah. I was so irritated. So she I was like, ma'am, I'm like, I'll pay you money. Just take me back to the house. She was like, I'm calling the police. I'm like, oh, fuck shit. this bitch. So I ran to the next car. <laughs> Went to the next car, like, hey dog, I'll pay you because I have warrants. I'm like, dog, I will pay you to drop me off at he like, hell yeah. <laughs> so it probably wasn't the safest thing in the world. But so we get in the car. Of course, the white lady called the police. And we was getting off at the next exit. And the police pulled up, like, yeah, kind of like blocked the car in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. so he, like, he snitched as soon as they walked up. Hey, <laughs> she came in the car because she threatened me with some money. <laughs> Damn, that's fucked he up. He snitched as soon as the police. He's like, hey, I just picked her up. I was, I'm like, this motherfucker. Oh, they like, man, were you just in an accident back there? I'm wiping the dirt off my clothes. Like, no. <laughs> I have no idea like, what you're talking about. They like, ma'am, step out the car. I'm like, fuck. So then they drove me back to the car. I'm like, fuck it, I'm about to go to jail. I'm trying to remember people's numbers and shit. <laughs> and then it was the state police. So he was like, look, I can smell the alcohol. So I know you're fucked up. Yeah. But I don't feel like doing the paperwork. Can you get home? Yeah. I'm like, hell yeah. If you drop me over the gas station. <laughs> so he... <laughs> <laughs> they, they had called the ambulance. The ambulance kept saying, "I didn't want them to take me to the hospital and get like my, you know, like my blood alcohol levels." Like yeah, you go to the hospital, it's a wrap. That motherfucker three times the limit. So they like, kept. Yeah. They was like, "Ma'am, are you okay?" I was like, "I'm fine." I started running down, you know, shit that people supposed to know. Yeah. I think I was still in shock. But yeah. then I told the police officer, "Like, drop me off, shit." He dropped me off at the gas station. I couldn't believe that shit. Damn. They flipped my car Ooh. over. I mean, I fucked some shit up. Damn. And Damn. he, I. That's Praise funny. Lord, I got out of it, and so I was like, I was probably drunk and high. Do that count? Oh yeah, that's, kind of, yeah, that's good. Now, that was a good story because the last couple of stories niggas been saying some whack shit. Like that was a good one. You you you, you brought that up. <laughs> niggas said she put. I mean, I'm talking. That you put the car in my bleeding, got scratched. You went home like damn. I only had one scratch. I'm telling you, God protect babies and fools. Damn. I had one scratch. Damn. Crawl out the car, but then I remember <laughs> I had money in the car. We so back I crawled back, back, back in the car. Damn. Got my money out. Put it in my bra. And Damn, then, you know, my man, the you escape plan. crashed the car. Motherfucker, this nigga snitched on you. <laughs> I can't believe he snitched so fast. You got fast. dropped up by the police. You had a motherfucker wild night. White lady dropped a dime on me. Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. It's horrible night. <laughs> Damn, oh yeah, that's, that's fucked up. But I didn't go to jail, so ultimately. It probably, and probably a good thing that you it was, was worth fucked it. up, because if you wasn't, you probably would have been hurt. Motherfucker probably broke yes. your neck, motherfucker. Anything, I would probably right? fuck some shit up. For when you, you when you when you drunk and get to ass and you, you know niggas always survive that shit. Like I said, you shouldn't drink and drive. But yeah, niggas, <laughs> niggas <laughs> survive that shit. Do not yeah. drink and drive. Yeah, we, we yeah. I'm a, I, mean, I ain't drinking. I want to drive like a motherfucker. And honestly, bro. it was more so I was sleepy. Yeah. So oh shit, you drunk? They say yeah. sleepy is like yeah. ten times. Cause worse. when your body loose, cause you got to think when you get to ass and you tighten up. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You stiff. So that's how shit break. You ain't that bitch loose like nigga. I'm drunk, nigga. You drunk by me like. I'm telling you, you floating in that moment. Like, <laughs> woke up like, damn. Yeah. Still alive. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> this shit for real. Damn. Like, I swear that's how I was. I thought about that money like, oh. Uh. Hey, you went drunk for that money at home because I got a couple, a couple hundred I in there. I'm back in there like in the movies, the car blow up. Let me go get my money. <laughs> <laughs> damn, that's funny as hell. Yeah, that's crazy as hell. But shit, it was nice having you on the goddamn show. I want to enjoy myself. Tell, Thank uh, you for inviting me. Yeah, for sure. Tell the people where you can follow, uh, huh? The fool, nigga. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Unveil. Yeah. Y'all niggas yeah. too drunk. He'd have been like, he'd have been like, uh, the fool. Nigga, 
the food. He had me like, that nigga chewing his shit. Like, <laughs> I'm like, damn, he hungry, y'all. We got the. That <laughs> nigga like, hey, what good? The whole fucking reason. Nigga, you, you bitch your tongue, nigga? Like, <laughs> damn. All right, yeah, so we, you know, we got the food on the So funny. We got the sliders. The salmon sliders, definitely. We got to try sliders and stuff. Yes. Don't be mad if I take, like, tomatoes out. Huh? I'm gonna eat this oh yeah, you can take the tomato off. That's fine. Yeah, Cause I don't want, you know, when people cook, they just disrespectful. Mm -hmm. My son called. Yeah, so uh, tell people where they can find you at. Get some food. Oh, definitely. Um, Instagram is at Brown Butter Meal Prep. Facebook is um, Brown Butter LLC. Mm -hmm. Um, definitely share the love. We're doing some more events. We like to feed the homeless. Okay. Pretty soon we about to uh, feed the essential workers. So if anybody wants to donate to that or you know, sure. just get at me for meal prep, catering, mm -hmm. um, all of it. I got you. Yeah, for, sure. for sure. And like I said, we had, you know, nice having you on the show. And um, you know, if you're drinking and driving, don't do it, but if you do it, you won't get hurt. Okay. <laughs>